Some vibes in the chat. Any vibers? Any vibers, lads? Where we wanna be. Oh my gosh, notifications out early today. Heck and heck. Imagine that one. Early bit. Chat. Chat, can I see some vibes? Put on this one, lads. You excited? You excited? Surprise. Tell me where we go from here. Me where we go from here. Ah, loads of boys here already. Hello, chatters. I hope you're doing rather well. I hope you're doing rather well. I have so many tabs open, it's a problem, man. For real, though. You have a headache? Oh, I'm sorry, King. Oh, from here. Tell me where we go. hello! All the boys here today. All the boys here today early. My gosh. Stream is making me happy, Blankies. I'm very excited to see all of you guys here today. We're going to continue playing Night of the Woods. I just have a chill, chatty time, you know? I've had quite a good, productive day. So, I'm excited. Big hype. Blankies. Yip yip. Oh, just dropped crap everywhere. What the fuck happened there? Dunno, Bob. The questions, man, the questions. My desk is so neat now. I've cleaned today. I've done, like, my little cleaning spray. And it's like so organized. <laughs> That's not gonna last, but you know, it's nice while it is. So, let me, let me juice myself up a little bit. Hello, I decided to pop in myself. I'll be here for a bit. Hi, DGK. I haven't seen you in a long time. Hope you're doing well. All the boys are here. All the boys are in today. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> that reminds me of that TikTok audio, God. Intro time. Hello, chat. Oh, where, where's the game? Game, thank you. There's the game. We, sorry, if I tab out, it stops playing. <laughs> so if you're wondering what was on, we started playing this, we did one stream, and we are relatively early in the game still. Uh, early as in, we've just found... Yeah, sorry, I've been really busy at school with free tests coming, come in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, everyone's been really busy with school recently, I feel like. It's just kind of been a thing, you know. But, Maeve! Oh my gosh, everyone is here today. Hold on, let me put this here. There we go. I hope all of you are doing well. So we, we've just had that one time where we find the arm... My glasses are in need of cleaning briefly. And um, we also stepped on some toes with B and had our PC fixed by Angus. And I told you boys, like, I've never played like the whole game. I've, I've personally only played like 40 minutes on the Switch of a friend like two years ago. Uh, but I obviously have also seen other people play this. But my goal in this playthrough is to specifically pursue characters that I don't know the story of because people don't pursue them in the playthrough I've seen or playthroughs I've seen so we're gonna probably go for B actually because I don't think I've ever seen anyone try and become like closer to her because I mean you know but like I feel like I I want to try and uh I hope all of you are doing really well today you're getting people blanket you know tea time cozy energy in the house let's chat uh it's already up to these days um, crashing here until I get back into my own place. Parents rented out half the place to Mr. Uh, Chazakov. I mean, you know, Gage. That wasn't even a Gage moment. Okay, to be fair, that was kind of a Gage moment. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair. But, like, it's fine. Uh, I've been babysitting interviewed at Ham Panther. Waiting to hear back. Ooh, my dad works at Ham Panther now. 
I hope people said tea time. It was. I'm sorry. I, 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 it's not even intentional. <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. God, my brain cells. Let's jump a little bit around while before we like talk to loads of people because I want to chat to you boys briefly. Um, and I like jumping around in this game. I think it's fun. Anyways, anyways, I hope you all been doing really well. It's been super cold where I live. So it's been like get bundled up kind of hours, if you know what I mean. <laughs> like, big sweaters and everything. And I had my little work, my little work yesterday, um, which was cold, as mentioned. Like, I was genuinely a, a popsicle. I was like, I had like gloves and, and like a, a hat and like, like a scarf and I was like in a big, you know, jacket and everything. And I'm still freezing afterwards. Uh, it was, it was cold, fellas, it was cold. Uh, but on the plus side, I had, like, a really nice time visiting my family, which I, I tend to, like, connect those, because they are, like, in the same location, basically, my work and uh, some of my family lives. So I did a little visit, a little bit of time. You want some chocolate? Well, get chocolate then, King, if you have any at home. Um, Theme of Friendship, I'm just taking a little break from making skins yesterday. I was really busy with being an front skin artist. Awkward. Yeah, I can imagine, but... GG on that one, King. Also, I, I think I need to, like, do something about my skin dex followers. Because I genuinely get, like, an email every day that someone new has followed me on there. And I'm like, why do you do this? SMH. For real. But, on the plus side, I have the same problem? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they want, man. They're like, the only reason I can see why anyone would follow me on there would be to, like, steal other people's skins. I um, yeah, so then I check out one following. I've never checked. I just get, like, emails. And they're always, like, someone named, like, Baby Girl 17 And I'm like, dude, the fuck, man? <laughs> like, please, why am I getting haunted by, like, fucking weird-ass user-named people on skin decks of all places? I'm like, Jesus Christ. I already get enough spam emails as is. Yeah! Hello, fella. Didn't mean to scare you. But yeah, that was always like awkward fellas. Well, like, what the fuck, man? But anyways, so I did my little work and I had a little nice time with my family. Because um, I'm not going to be at work next uh, week because I have like deadlines to do for projects. So I'm kind of like awkward, awkward. I need to actually do work, awkward. So <laughs> I'm not at work next week. Because I have to do other work. <laughs> Truly living the best life, but yeah, so I was kind of vibing like that and uh, had like some good conversations, which is always nice. Good times. I'm trying to think. Oh, also, uh, no, I did see you on Friday, so never mind. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, today I was like, oh, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to have a productive day. And I surprisingly did. I cleaned up my, my room, did like a reorganizing, and then I had this brilliant idea chat. I was like, hmm. Do you always get this problem when you're, you, like, have clothes that you've worn once, but you want to wear them again, and you don't know where to go with them? And then it's just, like, on your chair, and you move them around everywhere, and you're just kind of like, it's annoying. Um, because I only really have my, my, well, my, my, like, office chair thing that I sit in to stream and, like, be on my PC. I don't have any other, like, chairs or couches or whatever, sofas, in my room specifically. So I've just been kind of, like struggling with that for a while. I was like, do you know what? Before I can find a more, well, aesthetically pleasing uh, option, don't we have these, like, wooden chairs in the basement still? So I went down to our basement, which, if you don't know, um, currently, like, I, like, well, like six months ago? I don't even know how long ago. Anyway, some time ago, I moved from, like, the middle apartment with my family to the bottom apartment. And this is a three-apartment building. And currently, no one else lives in the other two apartments, so, like, you know, all the stuff is strewed in, like, three different basement rooms, basically. Because we just kind of, you know, had to get shit somewhere during the move. There was a lot of stuff that we got rid of and everything. Blah, blah, blah. You don't care. But, so I was, like, going into each of the basements down the row to find where that chair set I remembered was. And then I went into, like, the second basement. The first one is, like, the one we mainly use at the moment. Which is like where my, most of my stuff is. And I was like, alright, alright, it's not in here, I know this. Then the second one I checked, and um, 
It was not in there either, but I found old pairs of jeans from my dad. Pause chap chat. Uh, I was just like looking if there was like the chair set there and it wasn't. But there was just like a random pile of like old jeans. Like by old, I mean like 20 years old. <laughs> so like what my dad wore when he was younger. And I was like, all right, all right, you know, I'll check. Th I checked them out. And there was like five pairs, right? And like four of those were pretty all right. And like I was like, you know, I can try these on and see if they fit me now. And the, f the fifth one was the weirdest pair of jeans you've ever seen in your life. For real. Because they were like patched up. But the patch was just straight up just the crotch area. And it was like a darker jean fabric. And I'm like, who would choose to patch this in this manner? Like, you cannot wear this ever again. So I was like, that one is going to get left behind. Like, it literally looks like someone made like, like an... <laughs> you know, like what what they call jock straps? It's like someone to put that on, and I was like, why? <laughs> Presumably, this pair of jeans ripped in the crotch at some point and got like mended. But the mending job was so just awkward. I was like, you cannot wear this. People will think you've pissed your pants, <laughs> or wanted to really emphasize a very specific part of your anatomy. I'm just saying. <laughs> It made me laugh quite a lot. But yeah, the other four I took up. And turns out two of those were definitely way too small for me. It didn't fit in those. But the other two I did. So pop chaps. I got two pairs of like 90s vintage jeans. Just, just ring in a regular moment, you know. It was so sad. One pair was like a black je pair of jeans though. And it was definitely too tight. Otherwise I would have loved that pair. So that was an excursion, but then I went into the third basement and I did find the chair. So now I have a little chair in my, like at the foot of my bed where I put like my, like, pre-worn clothes. So that was a good update. What is up here? I remember the time at ninth grade when I snuck out and could see into Tom Br Bramwell's bedroom. But, yep, that sure did happen. <laughs> so true, mate, so true. But yeah. So it was kind of funny. I did I did get the little chair, cleaned up my, my little space, brought a bunch of like packing boxes into the house, uh, into the basement, sorry. And I was like, you know, kind of chilling. Can I go down here? I need to go down. Oh, like that. There you go. Can I talk to them again? Hello, can I talk to you again? No, I can't. Sadness. Leo is very cool, I agree. Can I talk to this fella? Hello. I can legally shoot you for being up there, you know. Haha, uh -huh, you'd never. I used to babysit your cat. Eh. So true. To get the market to notice us. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Yeah, so we all allocate funds to preserve the statue of not hearing me. Okay, it's not of sufficient historical note. Your ass is not of sufficient historical note. Guys, guys, stop this. This is the stoplight fight all over again. Oh yeah, remember who won that one? Can we move on? Fine. Fine. Oh yeah. Fair enough. These fellas just in, the, in regular regular fighting. But like, yeah. So that was what I did today. A little cool cleaning. And then, if you follow my Twitter, by the way, if you don't, I, I highly recommend. I'm I'm not much of a like a crazy tweeter, but definitely you want to keep up to date with me outside of stream. Thanks, Stream Elements and Fossabot for doing both of my job there. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> really emphasizing my point. Um, hold on. But um, I did a little little tradition that I have today in which I watched the Christmas episodes of TV shows I've, I like or like rewatch them and like sort of, you know, tell my little opinions because I think it's fun. And I, I enjoy like revisiting those shows, even if it's just one episode. And uh, I started this year's sort of trish because like there's so many i usually tend to i go by alphabetical order i tend to not do all of them i love the hops same uh, i tend to not go by like i manage to do all of them at all like i manage to maybe do like a few shows every year because it's just a lot and uh i watched i watched the christmas episode which is generously said can i steal no i can't um is generously said the christmas episode of the tv show designated survivor uh chat uh, one in chat if you know Designated Survivor, the TV show. Two if not, obviously. I want to try and find like a good way with the delay to get you guys' responses to questions. Because I think if I ask for emotes, while that's more quirky, it takes a lot longer for you guys to type that, if it's just a number. So if you know, do you know Designated Survivor? 
One in chat. Two if you don't know it. Meanwhile, it's okay. Hey, kids! Hey, adult. Two, you don't know SMH. Well, I was your, uh, your age a few years ago. Uh-huh. Two, you all don't know it. Jesus Christ. Uh, anyways, okay, brief recap. It is a, it's like a three-season TV show, uh, which the plot is... Hear me out, okay? The plot is, basically, everyone in the United States government fucking dies. <laughs> At the start of the TV show, and this random guy who w was like a minister, like a uh, what's it, what they call it? It's not a minister. He was like a head of department, and he was declared the designated survivor. And so he didn't go to this event where everyone got killed. So he becomes the president. So he was like a random like department of transportation or whatever kind of guy. And he's now the president because everyone else got killed. And then obviously they're investigating like what happened. And like it's it's all about the, it's like a political show, but it's like a drama political show. There's also like this FBI agent who's like investigating and she's like a badass. And really it's about him, this random guy called Tom Kirkman, who has to adjust to suddenly being president. He was never elected. He's just in this office. Now his entire family thrust into the spotlight. And, but like how to manage this crisis and the first season is genuinely one of the best like general tv shows ever it is a really really good tv show uh especially if you enjoy sort of like political drama slash like fbi show type b if you like homeland or if you like house of cards kind of not really but like you know, that kind of show. And I, as, like, a political enjoyer, obviously watched it because of that reason. But it is genuinely, like, the first season is so damn cool. The second and third one are still really good, the set, but they're, like, less cool, admittedly. But, yeah, so they have one episode that's sort of Christmas-related in season two, which is called Line of Fire, the episode. And I watched that episode. What kind of weather did I miss? This is nuts. Oh, well, wasn't going to church anyway. Pull them out. Um, what, what's the doodle? Thought this place is falling apart, big skeleton, so true. Uh, but yeah, so everyone fucking dies, and, um, there's one episode in season two, uh, called Light of Fire, which is sort of, Oh, there's a cat in the window! Chat, can we get some white people happies for the cat sleeping in the window? White people happy, yeah, look at that. I've never noticed that there's a cat there, but yeah, kitty. People, wow, sleeping cat emoji. You're so right for that one. You're so damn right. Well, getting on the boards. Oh, I don't care about you guys. Screw you. But yeah, Among Us. What is that? But yeah, anyways, so that point is there's a one episode that like, takes place at Christmas time. It's. Oh, another show that uh, Designated Survivors kind of like uh, is West Wing, if any of you guys. I mean, I don't assume any of you guys watch that, but like. You know, if you're based, if you were cool like that. No, I'm kidding, but... Anyways. Can I go into here? Huh. Didn't know you could. We go in here. Oh, that's where B works. The... Oh, hello. Yeah, Bill. Write it up as on the clock. She's not gonna like that. I don't care if she doesn't like it. It was her fault, plain and simple. That is time extra. We charge for that. Right then. Uh, hi, Bea. Oh, hi, B. How's work? Stressful. End of month coming up. And I have to start ordering in winter stuff, which means I have to bribe one, hopefully two of the guys, to unload the trucks. Because I'm not carrying a truck full of rock salt by myself. Huh. What you want? Well, Greg asked me to ask you if we'll drive us to the party tonight. You know the one up in State Park? Thanks for clarifying. Otherwise, I might have been confused. As to which of the dozens of parties going down at any given night in Possum Springs you were referring to. Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> I'll drive. Great, thanks. Well, we'll be, be up by your house at 8.30. Be ready or we'll go without you. Okay. Don't get lost on your way home. I know where I live. No, seriously, go home and get ready. All right, all right, jeez. Yippee. Bia. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> that's what it'll be. I want to say Bia because that's like the way I know that name. Like Bia. I do know that like said like that, but I know like the English way is like, it's like called a bee. 
which is weird to me because there's an A there. But never mind. I'm, I digress. I digress. Anyways, back to that that TV show. So, the, so I, that's like the, what I've described really as the, like, the hook of the show is like the first season, right? The second season, obviously, people like have gotten used to like the mystery and you know what happened with everyone got solved, and it's like the new reality um, has sort of settled in, and. That episode basically is sort of like a like one of the it's sort of like a medical drama episode because it's like, oh, there's a forest fire. Oh, hey mate, there's a forest fire. Hold on, in which um, like there's this group of like people who refuse to evacuate, and the reason they don't want to evacuate is because they want this one baby who's deadly ill to not have life-saving surgery because they object to blood transfusions. And so it's like a negotiation hostage type situation, but like figuring out how to save this baby and then like how to get the people out of the fire. You know, that kind of like episode. And you're all like, ah, oh, chill. Okay, this is a massive spoiler if you consider watching this show. So I do recommend it. And I don't think this takes away from the show, but it is a huge spoiler chat. Big spoiler warning for the, what I'm about to say. So I'm watching this episode and I'm having a good time. It's a good, fun episode. Really reminded me a lot of watching that show. And I was like, oh, this is nice and this is nice. And then like two thirds through the episode, I'm like, wait a minute. Isn't this the episode in which the first lady dies? Lo and behold, it's the episode in which the first lady fucking dies. <laughs> like she gets murked, bro. Like... No fucking survives. Like, literally the end of that episode is, like, the president finding out his wife has been killed and, like, literally falling to his knees and, like, crying. And there's, like, a dramatic music in the background. And I'm, like, at the time when I first watched this, I was like, oh, my God, this is so shocking. And this time I was like, oh, yeah, this is the episode where she fucking gets yeeted. <laughs> like, I mean, to be fair, I think it was also malicious. Because, like, she dies in a car accident, but I think it was an on-purpose one. I don't remember, though. But, yeah, good episode. Four out of five stars. Chef's kiss. Like, it really mixes that sort of homeland, sort of, like, FBI-type show plus, like, political intrigue. Which is good stuff. I enjoyed it. But <laughs> I've really just remembered, like, <laughs> two thirds. I was like, oh, fuck, man. Because she gets... She's in an investigation. And then she finally gets cleared of the investigation. And leaves, like, one final voice message to the president. And then gets murdered. And later in the TV show, like, he listens to that final voicemail multiple times. It's, it's low-key kind of sad. Because they had a good relationship. <laughs> but, like, it's, it's, like, such a movie cliche to, like, leave a final voice message, though. Like, okay, chat. One in chat if you've ever left a voice message in the last five years, chatters. One in chat if you've left a voice message in the last five years. I know the TV show's a little bit older, but like, who the fuck be leaving voice messages anymore? Like, not voice messages, but like, like, literally phone, like, tape phone messages, not like WhatsApp fucking voice message. I mean, like, actual, like, whoever leaves a voice message. Exactly, like, who the fuck? Like, this is such an old take. Like, that episode isn't that old. I think it's from, like, 2017 or something. Um, okay. Hey, May. What? I was just stopping by to see how you were doing. Why? After the other night, I mean. Who wouldn't be fine? That's, like, that thing where you have, like, someone's mum dies in a movie and then, like, the dad has, like, one final home video that he always watches back. Like, who the fuck be doing this kind of shit, man? <laughs> like, genuinely. <laughs> ah, okay, chat. If I die, I want you to dramatically rewatch my stream VODs. And stare out of the window and, like, have a single tear down your, your, your fucking cheek. Just be like, oh my god, he was so young while you're watching me play fucking Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, the law stream! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, the Twitch convoy mod, oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> sometimes in town, sometimes out by the tracks, sometimes up in the hills. I just think, what? It's my job to make troll folks like you. Never see something like what you saw the other night. You're not doing a very good job, that's a bit offensive. Folks like you, you're a kid, May. And you're naive. 
And in its own stupid way, that's beautiful. But the world isn't. Oh my god, you're so edgy. We will be like, how could we ignore the signs? Pepe hands, Pepe hands. <laughs> what signs, bro? Like, what you mean? Oh my god, I complained about like headaches and I die from a brain tumor. Okay, don't let this be an Apollo moment for real, though. I kind of want to live until I'm like 80, 90, 100. You know, I kind of want to live a long life, just saying. Yeah, the word isn't out there, it's here. Alright, are you gonna arrest me or something? I don't know, maybe a headache? <laughs> wow. Because I have a party to go to. Watch yourself, man. Oh god, I don't know what happens at this party, mate. It's like shit faced and embarrasses herself. I'd really hate to see something happen to you. And being at the wrong place at the wrong time is all that it takes. I don't know why that's her fucking voice. So all I'm saying. That's ominous. You'll be like, my tummy hurts, and then you die from tummy ache. No! No! Pepe hands! The pizza was too much! The cheese! Suddenly I got fatal lactose intolerance! Oh no! <laughs> hmm. Good night, man. Suddenly it's like, oh my god! Spontaneous explosion of my stomach! <laughs> oh, caps are bastards! So true! He was so brave, he hit his tummy ache, Pepe hands. No! No! Oh my god. I, I, I'm, so, I'm such a brave soul, I never complain. Imagine complaining, bro. I go to my parent, her son. Hey! Hi! Hey, sweetie! Look who's home. Hey, the parents. I made tacos! Excuse me, we made tacos. Uh, tacos? Tacos! <laughs> Do you want tacos? Um, no, we are gonna eat tacos though. Because you shouldn't drink on an empty stomach, Kings. The family that tacos together, rockers together. Dot, 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 so true. Honey, no! What? I'm so angry right now. You've all turned against me. Hey, honey, do you want sour cream on your taco? I want everything. Sour cream on tacos are so good, though. Okay, okay, okay. It's go time. I uh, should probably make sure I don't look like a cave beast. Looking all right. Got the shirt really accentuates my roundness. May you look perfectly fine, King. Why is it just self-deprecation? Well, you know. Arguably, that's what le less worse. Round is okay. Oh god, no, round is okay, kings. I'm being positive, body positive, like the internet said. So true, mate. Eh? Hi, Wisp. We're about to go to a party. I'm a real life person, and no one can prove I'm not. You can do this. People like you. People like you. People don't like you. Clearly, uh, you don't like people. Clearly. Just because that online test said that your best chance of being happy is a situation where everyone already likes you, but they mostly leave you alone. I've never eaten an actual taco, but take the stuff out of the taco and eat the shell on its own. You're degenerate, Leo. I've only had good tacos in the US, though. For real. Uh, except when they're delivering food to you. That doesn't mean you can hide in your room and wait for that to happen. That's how hermits are made. Oh my god, hermitcraft? No. <laughs> and they die alone in the middle of winter, Jesus. Waiting for pizza from friends they don't want to see. Alright, what you gonna say? You're a smooth talker. You're a smoothie. I just woke up, damn. Oh god, not the eye. Hi, I'm May. How's it going? Oh, hey, May. What's your name? Hi, I'm May. I dropped out of college earlier this week. Such core. Okay, we're gonna do what's your name. Oh, I think I know you from somewhere. It's probably from when we were lovers. And we beat up that street gang <laughs> with chains and garbage cans. So true, May. The little eyes look so terrifying. This is hopeless. Wheel me out to the curb for garbage day. Oh geez, they'll be here any minute. Good luck, kid. I don't need luck. I make my own luck with a luck machine. So true, May. Oh god, this party's gonna go horrible. I already know it. No. Not the party. <laughs> Man. Hey, May. I think Cole might be there tonight. Oh, no, not Cole. What? Oh, my God. Who's Cole? Um, 
You, um, you remember him? He was in yearbook with us. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, I remember him. Me and him were- Me and him were a thing for a while. Really? Wow. He was really smart. I'm really smart. Yeah, you are, dude. Well, that's settled then. Oh, great. And we're gonna have our ex there. Big fun. Aw, oh, chatters. Ah, that was awful. I hate beer. I can't remember the last time I drank beer. It's not a delicious drink at all. Get better then. No, I'm kidding. But like... Why am I... Let's go here. Yeah. What? Nothing. Can I talk to this fucker? Can I just run away? Goodbye. Obviously not. I don't know if I should have another drink right now. No, absolutely fucking not, bro. I'm gonna go to this guy, these guys. Hey, dudes! Yo, did you see Cole's here? Oh, God. You okay? Yeah, totally fine. You gonna talk to him? No. Probably a good idea. I mean, you did write that song. What was it called? Go Get Dead and Angel Face. Jesus. Ugh, we don't talk about Go Get, get Dead Angel Face. Jesus, I can't read anymore. Ah, uh, he's just standing there like it's no big deal. That jerk. Totally. You know what? I'm not gonna stand by and let him stand by while my night gets ruined. Yeah! I'm going over there. I'm going to talk to Cole. Ruin your own evening! If anything is gonna ruin your night, mate, it really should be you. Why is that the logic? Can't you just not have a pleasant night out with your friends? Like... You know, hate me for speaking the truth, man, but like, for realsies. Also, by the way, go, t speak of going out with friends, I'm so excited because I'm gonna have escape room time with my friends tomorrow. Yippee! Well, for real, I've wanted to do like an escape for like two years, and we're gonna finally do it tomorrow, and I'm like, yippee! I'm also meeting up with Blue Moderator because like Blue Moderator is one of the people at the escape room, and I'm like, yippee! And I had got like the most like. I spent like literally it was like <laughs> 3 a.m. yesterday. Ooh, that's so fun. Yeah, I, I'm like super excited. Like, I spent literally like, it was like 3 a.m. and I was like, do you know what? Is it weird to put together what you want to wear for something that you need on Monday? Like the night, Saturday to Sunday? Yeah. Will I do it regardless and hang it up already? Yes. And boys, like this outfit, okay, not to toot my own horn too much, but like, I pulled, I pulled, I pulled, you know? It's giving, it's like, cute librarian kind of, you know? Like, a little bit of like, cottagey vibes, but not too much. More like, more librarian, for real, but like, in a cute way. Yippee! And it's obvious I'm gonna wear like, my big ass winter coat, because it's cold, but like, <laughs> I tried, okay, I tried really hard. I literally was like trying on like eight options. I was like, oh my gosh, I really got it. Because like I don't go out in two places where I can dress up a lot. Because like, like, you know, if I go to work, I need like work clothes and shit like that. So whenever I do have the opportunity, I like to like put a lot of effort in. Because you know, when you're at home, like if I'm just, I'm not on camera though, like, so I'm like just gonna be in joggers and a, a knitted sweater. Like I'm not gonna. Tr be that elaborate at home, but if I go out, I can be like, yippee, outfit time. Can I, like, not? You guys believe this dude is playing guitar? Yep, playing the douchebag hits. I like this song. Is that, is this a douchebag song? Nah, don't worry, big guy. There's a douchebag like this at every party. You have no idea, Greg. Back at school, you'd always have some fat boy hanging out on the lawn, trying to look all sensitive. Why is this a douchebag song? Angus just doesn't understand and I'm like, fair. I don't want to go there. I'm just going to talk. Oh god, it's... Maybe I need another drink. No, you don't. Oh god. Why do you need another drink, May? This is going to end horribly. Just chill, bro. It's fine. I already know that this party basically has no other option except go horribly wrong. It's like, why? Please. May, you're so good. But oh my gosh. Please. King, this is not a good idea. I'm just gonna sit here. 
drug, 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 pe clap, people clap. Do we have people clap still? Yeah, we do have people clap. Alcohol. Why do you like that, chatters? It's not good. Also, admittedly, partying in the woods like this is not poggers, lads. You know, at least be classy like the rest of us and do it in someone's backyard, man. That's a mage. It's yummy, people clap. I'm not disagreeing, but like getting smashed while facing with an uncomfortable situation is not good coping mechanisms. <laughs> nah, maybe I need another drink. Okay, well, another drink time. Also, crappy, shitty beer, like someone's back. This is not poggers, man. It's not, sigh. I guess beer is just one of those horrible things adults do, like doing taxes and having babies. It's not, bro. That's such, that's such an inexperienced, no. Like, it is such BS, though. Like, there's good tasting shit out there. You just need to not buy the cheapest fucking piss that's available. I'm kind of grouchy, did you know that? No, I didn't. Rude. I like how rude. How long are you planning on staying? Maybe just got here like ten minutes ago. Oh, are you? How many beers have you had? Two. Pace it up, May. You're tiny. That's what they say to Leo does gaming. Underscore. So true. Ah, <laughs> uh, problem. Sometimes I think I just don't like people. Man, yeah, man. F the world. Yeah, f it. Shut up. Where's the lies, though, Leo? Where's the lies? God, someone really should just F the world already. The world has gone un -effed for too long. F and right. Did you guys hear something? Like what? Something in the woods over there. Oh yeah, two people are making out on the rocks behind us. <laughs> that can't be very comfortable. Who needs comfort when you have makeouts? But preferably you have both. It ain't a perfect world, Angus. They really are going up at... Blah. They're really going for it there. They sure are. You guys wanted to know stand somewhere else? Nah, dude. Why should we move? They're the indecent ones. We are gentlemen. So true. Starting to feel these two beers. Yeah, I don't really drink much. I only had one beer before. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, and you spit it out. May if you don't drink, you should really be careful. Nah, man, I'm cool. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on you. We will watch you like hawks. You won't. Chaperone hawks. <laughs> and they're still making out. I, yeah, I think I've exhausted the dialogue lines. I'm just it, delaying the inevitable. Like, I'm really delaying the inevitable. I know that she'll have to, like, have a drunken moment. Oh, hey, I'm May. What's your name? Is that you, May? Oh, I think I know you from somewhere. Oh, yeah, high school. Probably when we were lovers. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I would beat up that street gang. Oh, yeah. With chains and garbage cans. Good times, May. I still have that game, by the way. My girlfriend back in school. Oof. What the hell is your problem? What? Be cool, May. Go get a drink and be cool. No! Not another drink, man! This is not a good decision! This is how, how you cope, kings. It's not. This is not good. It's fine, copium. Screw it, I'm doing two beers. I'm doing beer. I still taste tacos, okay? What? Nothing. Don't drink anymore, please. Hey, beer. Yeah, oh god, you're drunk already. That's why we came out here, right? Not really. I have to drive. And even if I didn't. Well, I don't have my license, so woohoo for me. So true. Hey, beer. What? Who's that? Remember me, Borofsky? Oh god. May you're drunk. You need to go chill by the fire. I'm gonna go run around naked in the woods! Go sit now. Okay, what if we actually do sit? Man, I'm too bored by this shit. Oh, hey May. Hey, Coolio! Wow, haven't heard that in forever. It's been like three years. That's not long at all. Oh, it was good to see you. I'm just back for a couple days from school and shut up already. What? Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Oh no. And it's not my fault I'm a total trash fire. Oh god, mate. I got nightmare eyes. And the last thing you see is my eyes outside the window. And then I stab you with my knife. Stab, stab, stab. Boom, dead. When the police get there, you're all nightmare eyes. New nickname. So don't F with me, kid. F the world. Okay, mate, you're threatening people now. 
No, B, this might be being body positive. Read the internet. May I think you need to. F college. Yeah. All those rich kids and hot people. All writing sex and having papers with each other. Close enough. And that damn statue pointing at me every day. Supposed to be the founder, but just shapes. I, I'm a total trash mammal and nothing is ever going to work out. We never had a chance here, but I can't go anywhere else. I'm home again and I can do something besides sleep and cry alone. Because things are just things here, you know? Oh God, I'm so sick to death. Does that make sense, Coleo? May I'm so sorry to be to upset you. I think you're really great. Home again. Woohoo. A little bit of. She's such a lightweight. This is this was like three beers, bro. I mean, I'm not saying shit, but I am saying shit, mate. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> if you puke in this car, so help me God. <clears throat> What's the other? Uh, I owe you an apology. I'm so sorry. I didn't know even know what happened. You got sloppy ass drunk after what? Three cups of water down beer. That's what I am saying. Like, hello? Uh. Uh. I, I remember. Okay, I'll see. Remember when we used to hang out, not be best friends, because I don't know if they were best friends. I remember when we were like best friends. She says the same thing. Remember, you used to used to call me Mayday, and I called you Mimi. Oh, you mean when we were like 10? No, I don't. Remember when we were scouts together and we caught that turtle? Yeah, Boxy the turtle, he died. I feel like you're mad at me all the time. Why so mad at me all the time? Ah, if I poke in here, your parents are going to be so mad at me. Tell your mom I'm so awkward. Awkward, awkward. Oh no, oh no. Oh god, no. I'm sorry, okay, she's so nice. Oh no, awkward. This is horrifying. God, no. Oh, fuck, man. God damn it, Mary. What? My mother is dead. Bum, bum, bum. What? She died of cancer. Senior year. Oh, no, no, she was so nice. You're making it worse, mate. You're making it worse. Oh, my God. Baby, are you okay? <laughs> How do you not know this? Did you forget about my dead mom? <laughs> oh, God. I'll, I'll do this one because this is shorter. Hubby, I'm acting like a jerk. Are you mad at me? What happened to you? You used to be smart. You used to be cool. You used to be worth talking to, damn. Why'd you even come back? Oh, did college not work out for you? Was it inconvenient? Were you not in the mood? I would have killed for that. I still would. I'd kick you out of this moving car right now if it meant I could go to college. No, this is so sad. Pepe hands, Pepe hands, this conversation. We're here, get the hell out of my car. God, let me help you in. Oh, damn. Chat, that was, that was, that was horrifying. That was, that was quite, that was quite mortifying, not gonna lie. Chatters. That was, that was, that was Monkasteer followed by, you know, you know, Pepe Hands. That is, that is the emotions that this evoked. <laughs> Good grief. That was rough. There you go. I'm sorry, B, I'm a mess. You know, whatever. It's not your fault. You're just a kid. I'm older than you two months. Yeah, well, I stayed here and got older. Well, you went off and stayed the same. Damn. That hits hard. That actually does it hard, man. Jesus. I forgot. <sighs> Good night, Mayday. No, this is so sad. We're for sure gonna try and, like, rekindle with B. Because I've never seen anyone go her route at all. Oh, this is the first time we have the fucking weird ass nightmare dreams. I remember this. Yeah, pun shit. Let's go, vandalism. But, oh my god, that was so depressing. <laughs> I stayed and got older and you left and, you know, stayed the same. Kind of crazy.
It's kind of crazy. It does go like that sometimes, though. Like, sometimes I'm like, man. What happened to, like, all the fuckers I used to know? <laughs> that sounds like this one. But I mean, like, people I didn't really like or care for. Particularly. And I sometimes wonder, you know, what, what? how are they today? Like, if I haven't seen them in, like, ten years. Like, if it's been a really, really long time. I'm like, man, I wonder if they're still crap. No, I'm kidding. But, like, I do wonder how some people turn out if they're... I would have, like, smashed the word killer in this. I think it's funny. No idea if I meant to smash more here. Let me know, chat. I just think it's funny to just smash the word killer. It's the same, I think. Depending on... No matter what you smash, you mean? We're smashing everything. Let's go! Yes, yes. Smashing vandalism. Let's go. The cars are crashed. Yippee. It's so satisfying to smash shit. I've always wanted to do like those rage rooms where you smash up old stuff, but there isn't really anything like that where I live. But if I do come across this at some point, I do want to do this. Yippee! Smash the glass! Yippee! Oh, I forgot about this fucker. Oh, there's a... Hello? How do I go there? Like that. Anything this way? Don't think so. Can you climb this? I forgot. Did I forget any any uh, lights? I think this thing is meant to move. By. I forgot something somewhere. Surely didn't forget anything. Chat is, uh, is there anything I forgot? Or is there anything I meant to do at the big creature? Okay, never mind. I was already correct to go here. 
You gotta deconstruct. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's all right. Okay, constructing that kick W. Yeah, we got, we got it, we got it. It's kind of scary. It's kind of, it's kind of people s moment. Yippee! Smash everything. Let's go. So we're gonna do like the little. We're not gonna do like the dungeon crawler game too much, but we are gonna play like the, the base every two days, uh, two times every day. Sorry, because <laughs> I wanna get like good at that mini game. Yippee! It's now part two. Weird autumn. So we've played part one, fully. Let's go. I don't remember. How long is this game total? Is it like six hours? Well, that was a weird one. I feel awful. Probably look awful. Ugh. I'm gonna burn this room down with me in it. Live up my room naming days as a shrieking ghost. Yep. Never go drink again or go in public. Everything in the world's bad. So true. Oh yeah, that's true. Could play some bass, but we're song. Space dragon, die to else. Go get day and angel face. We'll do die to else and then we'll do go get go to the lab, the other song. You know what I mean, chatters. Full focus on this chat. Oh shit, sorry, I fucked it up. I always fuck up the number two because it doesn't come, like it doesn't happen a lot in this song. Why am I so bad? What the fuck is happening? Oh, damn it. Sorry, chatters. I'm out of practice. My nose was itching and I was like distracted. I get distracted on this so damn easily because like the number two fucks me up so much because it's the one I don't use a lot in this song and then I'm always like, oh, which trigger was it again? Even though they're literally in a row. Why, why am I so bad? I'm usually good at pre pattern recognition, but I'm not. Do, 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 do. I fucked up so many parts. Oh my god, it was so annoying. I just, oh, I got worse. No! Okay, should sure we try the new one now? Which song? Yeah, we'll try, we'll try, you know. Could could hardly get any worse, you know, just I'm just I'm like it can't could hardly get it. Whoa no. No. No way I'm gonna play that one. Too embarrassing. Oh come on, I wanted to play the new song. Which song? Okay, we'll do the other other song then. Space Dragon. This is very different though. But I'd be like in the mind.
Why am I so bad at like keeping my finger on like the thing right now? Like on the correct button. Why am I like fucking it up? Like what is wrong with me actually though? Why am I so bad? Is it because my hands are cold? What the fuck, man? Why am I so bad? It's not been that long since I last played this song, but I'm just absolutely fucking it up, like, all the time. Like, what the heck? I'm sure it's cold ads for real. This is not copium. I'm not even pressing the correct key in time. What the fuck? I swear copium is it's not copium, it is my hands. I'm just freezing my hands and I don't have the dexterity I need. The fuck, man? At least you don't know the song. Ah, I know! Don't come for me like this. God damn it. Like, for real, my hands are so cold. It's the one disadvantage, because I, I don't have great circulation as is, but then if I'm sitting still at my desk, like, I get... Because I don't wear gloves. Do wear socks, though. It's always my hands that get, like, frozen into popsicles. May? Yeah. Come say hi! Okay. I give her a tutorial voice, the bub. By the way, fun fact. Hello. Hey, hon, you look like crap. Yup. Rough night? Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it. Uh, I saw Cole at the party in the woods. From senior year? Yeah, he was home from school for the for the weekend. Did you talk to him? Uh, kind of, sort of, I don't know. Yeah, well, he's a jerk, hon. No, he's not. Oh, he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of town center. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps and the power lines. Great, hon. I, hon, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh, which means you'll go to jail for it. Psh, they'd never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday out front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mom, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story 1,000 times. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. Damn. So what are you up to today? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to see up what Greg and B are up to. Uh, you all, you all still gotta do something together? I don't know, I don't think they hang out much. Past messing out with our old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. 
Is this a bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we each only have so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No, God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. So true. Thought become a fire ghost and yell at people. F the cops. So true. So true, eh? Yeah, I think this is like her way of like telling us that we can only talk to one of our friends. And we're going to talk to B. My god, my hands are so cold, chat. It's not poggers. Yippee! Let's talk to other people. Hey, May. How's Selbers? Did you see you with the journal the other day? Oh, yeah, Doctor's Orders. Yeah, Doctor Hank has me doing one, too. Oh, okay, did you have anger problems, too? I was stealing painkillers from the ham pad the pharmacy. Oh, geez, so Dr. Cancy's journals is a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do, though. I've become a very good poet. Want to hear what? Yeah. My heart is... A, da a dankness, but when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow, that's really nice. <laughs> when I feel a blueness, all I need is a you-ness. That's very romantic. It's about my horse. So true. Can we get some drakes and chat for that wonderful poetry? Like, okay, hear me out. Imagine that poem, but it's like one of those, like, fucking like, 2014 Instagram edits of, like, like a fucking... <laughs> of like a fucking like beach at sunset and it's that <laughs> poem on it <laughs> ah, good times we're just friends mr check was up on the roof again pretty sure he's gonna break his damn neck ta-da it's Selma's a poet Selma's is so tr so true so based for that one if he falls through one of my windows i will not hesitate to take legal action hi kai who him up there on the roof next door. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick which part of him you're going to sue. Which piece is the biggest? I can hear you, you know. And we'll try and parkour up because that's like the find the fucking constellation mini games, which is fun. Hello, Kai. Good to see you in the chat, my friend. I remember Bee's family had a house and not a tiny depressing department. Damn. Maybe, you know, her mum died was kind of like, you know, just having, just having a say about it, you know. Yippee! Everyone's doing good. That is great to hear, kings. Wait, how do we climb up again? Because we need to climb real high. I think we could go up to here. Good, you're a little sick. I hope you get well soon, King. Like the weather currently, it feels like it's so easy to get sick. Hello. Mayborowski, you could have knocked down on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time we're gonna call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you've accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting dusk stars. What's dusk stars? Wandering stars, the light of which does not come through at night. How does that work? The trick of the atmosphere, the setting sunlight. Only visible for a few weeks every year, the spring and fall. So lovely. Very lovely. Neato. Want to have a look? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, this is like the, the fucking astronomy mini games. Holy crap, eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to put on a filter like so. Jeez. The sun is bright, make you blind. You didn't think to mention this? Just did. Just 
fight like one of these fuckers. Big oof. So true. Could be you have exams next week? Oh god, I hope you get well soon. So you're fit I uh, fit and ready for your exam. Found one! Let me have a look. I love this song by the way, it's so good. Ah yes, door the murderer. Okay, I'm interested. Door passed uh burned the king's prote procession on the street. Door was quiet and said nothing, and the king took offense to this. <laughs> Jeez. So what happened? Bird insulted Door, Door's family, Door's village, and so on, until he was down to insulting Door's chickens. How was everyone's week? Damn. Maya was pretty good. Kind of busy, but, you know. Door first murdered Bird's chickens, then his ancestral village, then his family. Holy crap. And when he came to Bird, the king was silent. I'm going to get a tattoo of this guy. Is Door a hero? to know but it doesn't uh, really matter i think like if you've been told you're nothing before a story like this sounds pretty okay well it is a true story a drill people died you should feel terrible seriously <laughs> sure Can't believe it, 21 days, it's 2023. Don't even remind me, man. I'm so stressed out currently. Found one, I think? Let me have a look. Ah, yes, Castus. What's Castus? The stars tell the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven, and for this the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that screwed up. But even in the depths, she'd refuse to die. Damn straight. Oh, will you never die as well? Uh, I guess someday. The gods in these stories are only standards for things we cannot control. You might say floods or the cancer or such. No, to all of them. This is fair. I believe we've seen both stars visible today. Oh, really? They come and go so fast. So true. So true. That was pretty great. We can look at it again in two days' time. Will you be back? Yeah, forever. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars for forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chekhov. <laughs> Dawn cast is spaced. Let's go this way. Yippee! Chat, can I get some yippies from you fellas? Yes, let's go. Oh, I don't really want to talk to these people. Fuck off. Can't be asked. I'm not like I always get really overwhelmed to like oh I, I by like feeling pressured to do everything in a game. So I'm not gonna. Do. I'm trying not to pre get myself pressured. Of, no, not get myself, but like feel pressured myself to like explore every dialogue option. Like that's not really what I want. Oh, that is the old pickaxe. I was like, why, am I, why is B in here? Because it's the old pickaxe. Hello. I'm gonna talk to B first. Hello. Don't mind that I'm on your table. There you go. Hey B. Yo. Sorry about last night. I get, I get woozy on cold. Medicine. <clears throat> so I don't really know what I expected to happen. Sorry for what I said. Now I really don't remember it much, so what else? Hooray for alcohol. New town motto. Bad practice later? Haha, uh -huh, yep. I'm amazed it's still a thing. We were barely even a band in high school. Hold on. We'll allow that. <laughs> We've added the term fuck off as permitted in chat. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel that. Having to engage with people that you don't want to. It's not poggers. It's been fun to hang out with Angus. How did you even end up doing it? When Casey left town, Angus told me that Greg was really sad. So I volunteered to be the new drummer. Well, drummer. It's a laptop B. It sure is, May. It sure is. See you later. I got some work to do. Alright. 
How's it going, dude? Got a job here. That's cool. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm lying. It sucks. Oh, jeez. Yippee! We're jumping about. So true. So true. Who the flip are you? Hey! Whoa, hey! They're like the same shirt, but like opposites. Oh wow, what do you know? What's your shirt from? From? Yeah, is it like a band or something? Yeah, I made it at home. Heck, back in high school. I just like the symbol. It's a null symbol, right? I don't know. What's your shirt mean? Secret symbol of God's Wrestling League. Whoa, what's that? Backyard wrestling. Whoa, where does it happen? All over the place. Backyards, you know. How did I not know about this? It's secret because it's illegal, I think. And people go to the hospital and stuff. That's awesome. That is awesome. It's awesome. Holy crap, I'm gonna look this up. See you soon. See you there some, some time. There's Angus in the store. Hello, Angus. Hey, babe. Hey, Angus, how's it going? You are like the third person I've seen today. I know you've explained it, but I have zero clue how this place stays open. You'd be surprised. Bad breakfast later. Gotta warm up my voice. You growl real good. Thanks, I'm a born growler. When I was a baby, I never cried. I just growled. I think I cried non-stop until I was like nine. <laughs> and then I cried all the time again, starting at like 13. You had a good three years of not crying in there. They were really productive years. May being so damn relatable. Chat. Chat. Not as a chat if you relate to that. What the? What? No! No, 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 no! Past abilities is gone! No more pizza delivery! No more big sale! No more special birthdays! This is the worst thing that's ever happened to this town since the flood that took out the mini golf ice cream place! Summer nights! Eating ice cream, playing some putt putt! All washed away! Sag. So true. I'm so freaking depressed right now. Yeah, this is so depressed. Yeah, look at 20. Was that 20 or 28? I can't read. 28, I think. Okay, so we've. Where's the recap? Also, where was the other video outpost? So true. Is this the building with the stuff in? Hold on, chat. We gotta figure this out. Hmm. Let me figure this one out, lads. I don't think it is, because there's no way to get up. Yippee! Well, these guys probably talking sports again, surely. How about them smelters? Kicked some blue bear ass last night. Good game, good game. Gonna be a hell of a season, but oh my god. Sport talk. Slash neg. Hey, Jeremy. Jeremy Wharton. No one calls me that. Germ, right? Germ Warfare. <laughs> wow, that stuck, huh? Yep. That's an okay name. Your name is May. Yep. That's an okay name. Okay. So true. Germ. <laughs> the side eye is incredible. You were like a year behind me, right? Two years. So you're fresh out, huh? I hang out with Greg sometimes. We ride bikes. I'm pretty good at it. Okay. So much bikes actually work. Well, I saw a rabbit possum the other day. Really? Where? I was crawling across the road. Had been hit by a car? Nah, just rabid. What happened to it? Got hit by a car. Wow. It was like a poem. Okay. So true, man. So true. Say hi to Greg. I do like the only two like Dorito-esque flavors are original and angry pepper. That says it all, really. We have fruit, fruits, ghost, and sna snakeums. Hello, friend. Well, look who it is. Yep, alive for another day. How are you feeling? I was feeling pretty bad, but I've been across town, and I don't know if that helped. Fresh air, or as fresh as it gets around here. Delicious. So what's up? Yeah, we're gonna do bad practice. We've ran around town enough for today. Yippee. So, uh, where are we starting? Ask Greg. He's usually what's holding us up or making us go faster. All purpose, Greg. Onto every time of Greg. So true. 
All right, kids, I'm gonna head out soon. Where are you going? Family stuff. Oh, okay. Just for a night. We doing this? Yeah, let's do this. What? I don't know the song, like, at all. I barely remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. So your self-confidence, huh? No, I just don't know the song. You stupid jerks. Okay, okay. Focus. Focus all my brain cells on this. Shit. It's so difficult to get back in if you've messed up because of the like fuck up sound. Spent like a hundred percent of my brain energy on this, which is why I'm not talking chat. my first try oh god my eyes hurt oh mate that was uh pretty bad as well it was bro i tried so damn hard man what do you mean it was bad fucking hell rip my bass playing inexcusable bro i like my eyes were hurting because i was staring so intensely not even kidding oh god that was painful <sighs> hey hey duda i was leaving for the night yeah i gotta be bored or rather, I would be if I didn't have plans. Plans. Crimes. Ooh, crimes. You up for some crimes? Hmm. Might, might be hanging out. Yeah, because, like, everyone I know picks, like, yeah, and goes with the crimes. But, like, we're going to try and see if we can hang out with B. Because I'm curious for a storyline. Cool. Let me know. You want to do something tonight? Um, promise it'll be an improvement on last night. What were you thinking of doing? Um... Want to go to the mall? The mall? Yeah, Fort L Luchen. Like we did when we were kids. What's the last time you were at the Fort Luchen mall? I don't know, five years ago? Yeah. What? Well, you know what? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> great. Yep, great. I promise it'll be great. Okay, sure, we're doing this. Yeah, let's go. We're going to the mall, boys. Oh, God, my eyes hurt. For real, from staring at that screen. So, like, I moved in. Glad I didn't puke in here. Me too. Maybe I'll just never drink again. Or maybe you just take it easy next time. I don't know if I do moderation well. I could see that. So true, May. I think the term is risk-taking behavior. Are you seeing someone about this? Hanging with you is working pretty well tonight. No pressure. I should be getting paid by the hour. I got gum. I'm gonna turn on the radio now. So true. Old gods of the Fort Luchen Mall. I don't even know if you say it like that, but I'm just saying it like that. I really want to play Weird Autumn well, though, because I like the rhythm of that. Fort Luchen! I've literally never seen anyone play this route. Everyone I've ever seen play this, which is like two people, has taken the... This is, by the way, further than I've gotten by my own playthrough. Uh, but like anyone I've ever seen play this has always taken Greg's route and does like the crimes So I've never seen this location at all. This is completely new to me For the chat. Oh my god. Yep. What the hell happened? Um, the internet? We had the internet when we used to come here. What happened to the carousel? Sold it I guess. Who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. 
What happened to the bookstore? Also the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm going to make a sign that says the internet and hold it up until you're not asking. Oh, this is sad. What happened to... Internet. Everything on sale forever. And yet Dollar Empire is still here. I think this is the one thing the internet can't compete with. I used to go in when I was a kid. You could get a razor for a dollar, a pencil for a dollar. That actually doesn't sound like a good deal. Oh god, you're right. Oh my god. Oh my god, the U-Rev is still here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that old thing. I can feel the edginess from here. Just looking at that makes me feel old. We are so going to do this. There's no way I'm going in there. <laughs> Yippee! Ball time! Oh, for God's sake. Holy crap. I'm 14 again. Yep, pretty nuts in here. Hey, isn't that? Shut up. Hello. Hey, ladies. Hello, lady. Just to know we have 20% of select shirts. Ooh, t-shirts. Yep. Thanks a lot. Okay. Catch you later. All right. Hmm. Wow, I haven't seen belt buckles in a while. At least not fashionable ones. Mike at the shop has one with a rattlesnake driving a semi-truck. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do what? Cover me, I'm gonna grab one. What? No! Shh! You are not doing this. Oh no, we are... Chat! Can we get some people giggles? Be gay, do crime. Okay, so you're really gonna do this. Shh, be cool. This isn't... This isn't my first time doing crime. So true. What other crimes have you done? Shoplifting, vandalism, piracy, shoplifting again now. Anyway, I just do the easy crimes. How's the stupid idea in crimes, Drake? So true. Her eyes evolve to notice movement like dinosaurs. Is the dinosaurs moving? Why, that's not, never mind. And so as long as you're perfectly still while the clerk is watching, like you're gonna freeze when she looks over, even if you're in the middle of putting it in your pocket. And this is gonna be work because dinosaurs? Just like dinosaurs. I'm gonna pretend to not know you until you're done, okay? Okay, I understand what this game is about. So she looks over. Hold on, chat. Careful. I love how she doesn't notice this. Sweet! Crimes, yippee, chatters. Okay, you done. Ah, oh, yeah! Shut up and let's get out of here. This is not how it goes, by the way. Not that I know anything personally, but like... Oh, yeah! Sweet belt buckle I'm never ever going to wear. Rubs against my stomach. This is bad, babe. You should steal something now. <laughs> Pardon? Haven't you ever done, like, any crimes? I mean, yeah, I guess, hasn't everyone? I'll get back in there, champ. What? No, Beatrice, let me lay it, this out. One, the security cameras aren't even on in there. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. Three, there's not only... There's not one mole cup in here, as far as I can tell. I don't know, I mean, hmm, B, this is an experience. Have it. I'll run interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you and driving away if I get caught. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna run interference while you do your thing. What do you mean? I'm gonna distract the clerk, I could do this. I can't admit drawing attention to the talent you have. I'm great at crimes. But what if I get caught? You won't, you'll just start screaming if I have to. How is that a good idea? Let's go! Okay, but if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. Join the club. So true. Hey, uh-huh. I've got a question. T-shirts are 20% off. Yeah, I saw, I was wondering about something else. Okay. The name of the store, yeah. Haha, uh -huh, you probably get this question a lot. Try me. What time do you get it? Okay, no. Is it like you, you revolution or like your revolution? Should I ask what time do you get off later? Come on. Uh, are you flirting with me? Um, maybe yes, maybe no. I play hard to get, but do I play hard? <laughs> Ma'am, I have work to do. Crap. So... 
Um, no, not gonna have to. I'm going to scream for a while. Ah! Uh, ah! <laughs> okay, I'm going to call security. Ah! So we don't have security, but I'm calling the cops. No, don't do that. I'll stop. What is wrong with you? Okay, I'm done looking. Let's go. Okay, it was nice talking to you. Bye now! <laughs> uh, see ya. How was she not suspicious, though? Why did you do that? You did so well, B. I called the cops and shopped this at my own store. This. Uh, what did you get? Some kind of necklace thing. Nice, nice. Oh, God. Forget it. We're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like out in open waters now. I feel kind of sick. Let's walk it off. Yippee! We're in the ball. We are criminals. So true. Wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh, my God. I loved her. <laughs> did you ever come here to the summer days thing here? Yeah. It, like, squirt people? I still have no idea how they did that? What? I gotta deal with the squirt gun. No, it was totally found that they tricked out- <laughs> They tricked out to squirt people, that's amazing. <laughs> you know, the walkway way up there, past the upper food court thing. Up at the Aterium? The what? The ceiling, the glass part that points up. Yeah? When I was a kid, I thought that's where the god- Where God lived, wow. I don't know, I just remember staring up at when I was a kid, like, eating a burger. I tried to see if I could see God. Like, peeking over or something. Looked like they've got some weird hanging art up there. Wanna go up and see? Nah, my knees are killing me from work. So true. I wish I could jump in the mall, but we can't. It's so sad. You up for eating? Let's check out the rest of the mall first. Walk up and I'm out of that. I was kind of hungry when we got here. I'm just curious because I've never seen anyone like play this part. <gasps> Spelter's County. Yo. Oh no, the bookshop. It's empty. Vibes music. Yes, yeah, go to vibes music, please. Well, that should be good. I wonder what kind of... Oh, come on. There's no one working the counter. Oh, wow. Hello, anyone here? Jeez. This is bleak. This is like something out of a failed state or something. What's that? When you make a country that doesn't work out. So, like this country. A. A. Jeez, ruins. Let's see what they've got. Clubber Girl rolling hard on that. What? On that E at those rave remakes? <laughs> Honky Tonk Armageddon. Come on, Honky Tonk Armageddon. Whoa, I'd actually listen to that. Just to see what the hell it even means. Cover's got a pickup truck exactly like my uncle's. But this one's on fire and flying at a dragon's face. Upgrade. Is there anything else in this store? I wish you could jump, but it makes sense that you can't. Oh, hey, it's that band. What band? Do you know? You remember this song? Had that video that people post like a zillion times. I've literally not, no idea what you're talking about. It had that weird horse in it. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I had a weird horse. Oh, yeah, yeah, that horse was all... <laughs> this is like, what does the fox say, but like, horse. I don't remember. What, what are they even on about at this point? Yep, we yep. officially remembered that video. We did it! Yippee! Bonding with our pal! Well, that's the exit. No, we do want to eat. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, you can't. I was about to say you can't go up the stairs again. <coughs> so chat. Sneezy boy moment. Yeah, let's eat. You're feeding. Yeah, let's eat. Okay. I expected more excitement. Well, food court dinner. Oh, what a feeling. See, that wasn't hard. What did you get? You inhaled it before I got a look. Pizza taco from Gopher or pierogi burger from Swelderburg? I want the pierogi burger. That's just a big pile of carbs and meat, huh? Isn't that what we are? Bones too. I don't want bones in my burger. So true. What? Remember when Kathy Domingo pulled out City Clark's nose ring here? You know what that was about, right? 
Wasn't Kathy pregnant with? What's his name? Football guy? Ron Boonstra. Didn't know he knew about that. Well, I mean, that was the first football game of our senior year. And Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands, My first touchdowns for my beautiful first bout and his mommy, Kathy Domingo. <laughs> That's something. Kathy was in marching band and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh yeah, I see. That's the part I know about. That was what set off the whole nose ring situation. I do want to ask what happened to Kathy. Well, last year Ron had this had this ATV accident and somehow Kathy and him got talking after that. And they got married. What? Huh? Yeah, Ron's... How does it all happen in like two years, man? Yeah, Ron's parents set them up in a double wide out of the Brittle, since Kathy refused to end up in Passam Springs. Brittle's like 15 minutes away. You know what the worst part of the story is? Saw in high school drama, Cindy having something ripped out of her face. Ron? Ron? At the time I was like, God moves things around in the strangest way to bring two people together. I don't know if I even believe in God fair. Same, really. Thinking about this place, the fountain, and the God walkway and stuff. Not knowing how something worked used to seem like magic. Now not knowing means it might be going wrong and I may not be able to fix it. Helped knowing someone was at the controls, you know. Now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. When I was at school, yeah? Ah, uh, don't even want to talk about it. What happened anyway? I want to run around the mall some more. Uh, there's not really much else to run around. We could check out the weird bad art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. I want to run. You run. I'm going to sit here. I'm tired and sad now. Shut suit. <laughs> I thought she said shut up. No, suit yourself. Oh, now we can actually jump around. I'm so happy. Because now we can go upstairs. Yippee! Oh, yes. I can jump on these. Let's go. Oh, wow. Is this... <laughs> Fantastic! Whoa, hey! Is that Greg? Hold on. Ah, yes. Ah, like that. How the fuck do you hit people like that? Slash Jen, though. God, it's so difficult to target them. You need to like count. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! She's like, she likes it. That's great. How? <laughs> I like how they're all just freaking the fuck out. But it's so difficult to like target them correctly. Hehehehehehe. <laughs> Haha, May, I know that's you. It is us though. To be fair, it is us. Yippee! Ah, May, how are you doing that? Oh, she likes it. That's so fun. <laughs> it is very funny. Ha, ah, stop it. I'm gonna die! <laughs> Look at us being little criminals. Okay, so it's gonna call the cops. <laughs> like they're all sprinting away. <laughs> okay, now everyone's sprinting away. Now, Beatrice Santanello! <laughs> Don't get the my name. <laughs> Beatrice Jones! <laughs> oh god, is that you, God? Yes, it is I, God Stevenson. I didn't know you had a last name. Silence, mortal! Through my fish monster, I have laid waste to your kind. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty magical. Silence! I shan't say it again. You and your good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, we could probably get out of here. 
<laughs> before you're arrested. <laughs> oh, she's so happy about it. Oh. The sh cops shall be confused and stuff and beat each other up, for I am God and I hate the cops. <laughs> chat, chat, can we get some drinks for that? Can we get some drinks? Okay, I get okay, I get that here. Yeah. Have a good one, mortal. Chat, can we get some drinks for that one, please? Because it is not sticking it to the man. The man isn't going to lose anything here, but she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in a much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever. Return the shit. Oh, okay, I'm going. Hi. Hello. You're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. Here's that shit. We don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault the world is like this. What? You stole this? You're just a cog in a much bigger machine. To blame you would be like blaming a thing inside a whole thing. So you're returning stolen merchandise. One day folks like you are going to overthrow the whole thing. Wait, whole thing? The whole thing. We're leaving. Stay strong, you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? <laughs> so true. This place used to be something. I mean, it still is something. Nah, mostly just a big, just a big mostly empty thing. In a big mostly empty parking lot. Well, you work with what you have. Let's never come here again. Don't have to convince me. I only came here because you wanted to. Well, Fort Lushen used to be something. Now Fort Lushen's over. Let's go. Let it die in peace. Let it die. I'm gonna drive on the way home. Nope. <laughs> oh, this is good. Bandit queens of the, of, of the Fort Lushen Mall all hail the fish. So true. What's up, Dad? Heard you had a wild time, uh, night, night last, wait, time last night. Oh my gosh. Didn't drink. It works better if you let me accuse you first. <laughs> right. Here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. Wow, hold on, let me write that one down. It's complicated, I know. What did you do tonight? Went out with B. You have a good time? Yeah, she's kind of, I don't know. Like, she's older, like, much older. And kind of sad. Well, she's been through a lot. Yeah. Hey, Dad, would you mind moving the boxes to the crawl space? Well, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> Bit of credit to this family? That doesn't count. Well, would you watch some TV with me? Now nah, I'm heading to bed. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I don't want to watch TV. We go up the stairs. That's enough burst space for one day. Okay, let's go to bed. Didn't mean to do that. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. I was wanting to check if she had written anything to us. Hey, cool ball times. Pretty cool ball times, yes. I hope he didn't make too much of a mess with the fountain. Who's we? I was merely sitting there when I was assaulted with more water. I will not rest until that fountain is brought to justice. Tell the world my story. They must know. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Hope the nightmares aren't too horrible. It is a trauma I shall bear forever. What does Greg say? Hey, hey, dude, what did you do tonight? Nothing much. Stole something for Angus. It's a surprise. Wow, what is it? Hold on for a sec. Oh, crap, I gotta go to screen later. Okay, where are you? Okay. Goodbye. We're not gonna play the demon game because, like, I can play that for 800 years. Bedtime? Yes. We're gonna try and play Weird Autumn twice, I think, to d tomorrow. As, like, tomorrow in the game. Oh yeah, I forgot there's like, the d weird dreams all the time now. Yippee! Making the music. up this stream same it's so good it's so pretty
Oh, the music is so good. Did it rather quickly. Because I'm based like that. Oh god. That's terrifying. That's scary, man. What the hell? I forgot this happens. Ooh. Bright. Fairly bright. I think we could do like one more day and then I might be off because I'm kind of tired, chatters. Not gonna lie, I also have to do other work after this, and I've been putting it off, which is not poggers, because I'm making it harder for myself later. But like, we'll we'll try and go through one more day for sure. Because I'm curious now, because we've diverged from what I know. I'm gonna try the autumn, weird autumn song. Two times today. hate the like way you have to like repeatedly press it because i'm like i get out of rhythm every time <laughs> and it's like ah pain once more but which song chat because it's gonna be like the last like bass time unless we have bad practice but i don't think so uh of this stream do you want me to play uh which song do you want me to play we've got space dragon we've got die any wells or weird autumn just say one two or three one for space dragon two for die anywhere else and three for weird autumn What one? Okay, we have one vote for one. More well, one? Okay, we have two votes for one. Unless there's a crazy sweep and it's looking like Space Dragon. Come on, chat. One, two, and three chatters. Well, one, two, or three. Alright, I'll take your word. We'll do space dragon then. <clears throat> okay, I gotta focus though really hard. It's whenever I get too much in my own head about it that I fuck up.
little bit better, but not perfect. I've always wanted to try and like actually do like really well on one of these songs, but it's it's challenging. Ooh. Not that bad, not that bad. Fucked up the ending, damn. I was doing all right, I was doing all right. God damn it. Man, these are so hard. Not bad. Okay, I've got a uh, not bad. Not bad. How the hell do you draw a space dragon? So true. Okay, let's go out. Say hi to my mom. Hello, man. Good morning. Did you feel? Did you feel it last night? What? It was a big sinkhole, two streets over. Oh no, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth, and on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee I won't. I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all. Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Get back to me when, like, one swallows a house or something. Well, we'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Went to the mall with me. Oh, Fort Lucien. Oh, Lucien. Yeah. I haven't been there in years. How is it? Kind of falling apart and empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up by the interstate now. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Hmm, bye, sweetie. Alright, let's go. Oh my, God. my hands are so cold. Good grief. I'm sweater pouring it up real good at the moment, but it's still cold. Fuck me. Oh my god, it's dreary weather. What the hell? Let's try and see your friends. Yippee, friend time. Hmm, huh. smelters. Babarovsky. Oh, Selbus. <laughs> Selbus. Uh, now we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is the first and last impression we make. So was a Jujota cult. Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Oh, okay. Of the Sylvan family of products. Silvers, I don't know. I don't have any money. Oh, okay. Are you giving that for Chevron? Have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom and to Abby Krangler. Miss Krangler's daughter? Granddaughter. I run into her at the laundromat of my school. One time Greg got out locked inside of one of the tumble dryers. Did he die? He wanted me to start it, but I chickened out. He definitely would have died. Tell him that. He's still mad. Want to hear a poem? Definitely. Sometimes I think and start to sink. Oh no. There's more. Sorry. Then I remember it's October. October? I combined my two favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. October. Days are gonna start getting shorter, shorter soon. It makes me sad. I like it. I love the fall, but I hate the dark. I like it. You sure do. I've seen a raccoon. Where? Up in Towny Century. He's a big un. Cool. Hello. My cat don't like folks on the porch. Well, I'll deal with it, bro.
Hello, people in the streets. Let's go. Say hi to B. Hello. Hey, BB. Hi, May. How's it going? Got a load of rock to salt, uh, rock salt to move. Came in early this year. And like a crap load of sho snow shovels. Usually the district place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards? Yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? Want to hang out tonight? Uh, I'm working. If you want to, like, come along. Oh, I was thinking we could play put put out in Hunwick. May that's actually not a bad idea. But sorry, got work. Ah, oh, jeez, what's even the point? <coughs> Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. So do you want to come along or not? Let's hang out. Sure, we help. House call. Oh, this song is great. I like this. Yippee! Couldn't you just refuse to do house calls? Nope. Why? It's called a job. People pay to do it. Ideally, at least. You coming? There's a thing back there in the driveway. Yeah, she's an old lady. She's got weird shit in her yard. It's like a windmill. Yep. I've never been back here before. May Borofsky, you have now been here. It's nice. Yeah, just a bunch of old cabins people turned into houses. Some hunting camps. So, like, don't get shot or anything. Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well, folks get impatient for murder! It ain't murder if it's animals. That's a knock. Hold that thought. You're gonna knock? Again, I've never seen this plot line, so I'm excited. Thank you for coming on such short notice! No problem. I can't. S I can sleep through a four, uh, through a four alarm fire, but that furnace. We'll take a look at it. Ever since Jean passed, I just can't abide that thumping. Understandable. Jean was such a darling man. Hey, what do you mean by hold that thought? Wait for it. I'll never forgive them for taking him away. Uh huh. Ain't like I didn't treat him right. I looked it up on the internet. He didn't smell or nothing. Wait for it. You can't take a woman's husband's just because he's dead. There it is. Holy God. Took him right off that couch. It's a crime. Yeah, a crime was definitely committed, all right. Chat, can we get some people S's? Can we get some people S's? They just couldn't abide not being able to tax him anymore. That's what it was. People S. Well, I won't talk your ears out about, uh, off about it. Come take a look at my fridge while we're here. We bill by half the hour. Honestly, Queen, valid to be fair, but like at the same time. Any of you boys have ever heard of that one TV show, Santa Clara, C whatever diet, where it's like about this couple and the the woman in the like the wife becomes a zombie and then like their entire relationship morphs to finding like fresh meat for her and like committing murders. Honestly, couple goals, you know. I've never watched the show, but just couple goals on that account alone job yeah it's a nice fridge what's the problem oh there's no problem it's just a classic an old lunar frizz wow freeze they were all the rage when i was your age they last forever make me feel so young i saw one of these the other night when i got back into town oh really where upset down and there's some logs in a creek and a ravine so furnace oh yeah right through here to the basement sounds good come on mate why are we going to the basement all right we'll be down there for a bit please remember not to lock us in what? Last time he said someone, he got licked in the basement. I assure you that did not happen. Um, he called me from your basement. Your man did smell a bit of booze when he came by. Oh, okay. Busted. Or something. Okay, down we go. It was nice meeting you. I don't really know who you are, little... I don't know what the word after that was. <laughs> Looked like Prince, maybe. Oh man, I love creepy basements. And why wouldn't you? Look at all this Osmolanda. Jeez, she got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husbands stacked in the corner. Monk ass. Alright, let's get this done so we can go home. Yippee! Why does she have a baseball bat, though? Different question, guys. Different question. What's with that bit? Can I go up here? Yippee! Yes! Fish, fish, fish. Fish, fish, fish. Yippee. Isn't it illegal to smoke indoors? It is. Well, 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 be the criminal. It's a dummy. I'm trying to quit. So I chew on this thing. What? Notice no smoke coming out, no smoke at all? 
But like, I've seen you smoke. Yeah, not indoors. I totally thought it was real. Where'd you think the smoke was going? I thought you were swallowing it. Made you know how smoking works. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not a smoking scientist, Beatrice. Good lord, what else don't you know? Sorry I didn't get a degree in psychotography. <laughs> or even was your major in college. Kicking ass and getting rad. Undeclared, that is. Which is such a weird concept. Okay, ho okay. Hear me out, Shatters. Isn't it the weirdest thing that in the US... I think it's just US. I don't know if in the UK, but I believe it's just US. But that you can go to college without having a major. You can just go and put down undeclared and just kind of chill like that. Like, huh? Hello? Like, what? <laughs> Hear me out, that's just fucking weird. Like, that's weird as hell. Like, you just be a student but not have a major. Like, hello? That's the furnace. I've decided his name is Clanky. Okay, you have just hang out. I'm going to go fix this real quick. Don't, like, break anything. What am I gonna break? This is a basement full of crap. So they go to college, you just don't learn? No, they take, like, other classes, but, like, that are not associated with a specific major. Because in America, you have to take classes that are not related to your main subject, which is so weird. When I was younger, I thought that was cool, because you could pick, like, really, like, get a really diverse education. But once when I was older, I was like, why? Because they have to take, like, fucking algebra and shit like that, even though, like, if, even if they're, like, a theater major. And I'm like, hello? Where's the logic in that one? That one? Like, for real. I mean, I'm, I'm maybe just shit, absolute shit, shit, but, like, surely. Like, it's such a weird concept. I don't even know how long. I think you could go undeclared for, like, three semesters. Undeclared major. An undeclared or undecided major. What is an undeclared major? I'm, I'm reading up. At US, yeah, it's just US. You could just start a bachelor degree without committing to a specific degree. Which is like, what the fuck? I don't know how long you can do this. I think it's like a limited time. Yeah, one year or two academic semesters. For international students, says here. This is like a specific university's page. But like, what do you mean you could just study? We get to do whatever we want from age 16. Yeah, no, it's kind of weird as, as hell. Because like, you have to... You can't just go to, like, not have a major for, like, multiple semesters. It's like, fucking, what? <laughs> what to know about an undeclared major? Yeah, your first year, like, your entire first year, you could just not have a major, man. What the fuck, like, hello? Yeah, apparently for boosting your GPA, getting a head start, exploring the space, it looks better than you think. The cons are you might miss out on requirements. You're... <laughs> Stress levels high! I'm on this website for like a random college. <laughs> and it says, I feel like it makes sense if you're still unsure if you major so you don't miss a whole year. You can do the stuff you probably gonna do anyway. So it makes sense, but like, I love how for the one of the cons is stress level high. Exploration can be fun, but it's also a big task. Not to mention that social and family pressure can weigh on you and start to affect your education. <laughs> the sooner you decide, the sooner you can be free of that anxiety. Thank you. Uh, losing fringe benefits, harder to harder to stand out from the crowd. Why is that a negative? What the fuck? You obviously have to pick a, a, a major to graduate, but like, huh? it's such a weird concept to me that you could just do that. Plus, there's some really weird requirements in the US, like what kind of supplementary classes you need to take that have nothing to do with your main course. It's so damn shitty in my opinion. Like, I understand the whole idea. It's, be it's because US... Uh, public general public education is a, like it doesn't reach quite as far as a lot of like European education does just in the main secondary education Do you know like when once you get like your in the UK like GCSEs A levels right like specifically A levels right the equivalent of A levels which is like high school diploma in the US like the high school diploma doesn't cover as much as like A levels do, uh, do or like other European qualifications so it kind of makes sense that they put some of those qualifications that well more cool people mm -hmm. sorry Europeans t tend to get during their high school quote unquote they do that in the first year of college or first two years of college it's the same difference that usually over here it's like three years of college versus in the US it's typically four so you see where that goes, right? It's like a, a weird cultural difference. 
But yeah, no, you wouldn't catch me fucking having to take math, man. Oh, she's okay. Should be locked. Can I help? Nope. Why am I here then? Because you wanted to come along. Just chill. Can we walk around, please? Yippee! Jesus, what dead ass that? It's made of metal that you could chop your finger off. It's just, it's just a different kind of fish. Different kind of energy. Ah, my old nemesis, Professor Lucius from Gnobio. Can I just go upstairs? Oh, I can't. The pain. I don't know, it's just kind of a very different approach than what... Oh, a racket. Mm, badminton. Badminton, badminton. Racket. That can make something out of all this junk. Jeez, who even would have this much junk? I can see this being useful. I can see these being useful in furnace fixing. Let me jump up here. This looks useful. This looks useful. Need your expertise to fix the stupid furnace, Professor. Alright, let's go then. So can't carry anything else. I'm gonna say this is enough stuff. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> so got a gnome, a fishing pole, a Batman racket, and a fan. Got two wheels and a turny thing. No wheel. Probably just needs to turn the turny thing. To open up the heat pipes. To turn up the fire. Kaki's probably got loads of heat, but just can't get it out. Some what is this ancient audiobook in the bathroom? And it's right next to my room. Keeps echoing it so loud. Who the fuck listens to an audiobook in the bathroom is my question. That's just kind of that's that's odd behavior, I'm not gonna lie. That's that's odd behavior. Did get Clanky all hot of bother will teach Clanky to love? I bet I could hmm. Could use a racket as a handle. I think nobody could bite into I I use a racket as a handle, that makes sense. Work. Although we're not always going to be here to pull it. Hmm, the fan could stay on, and then if the brakes, you don't have to replace the fan. Should be good for the environment too, that's important. I can turn us at the mountain by fault and shit. God, I remember everyone's so bad about that. It's going to ruin the view, it's going to kill birds. You know what else is going to ruin the view and kill birds? When a meteor hits the earth because it gets too hot. That's what happened to the dinosaurs. Okay, where was I? Making a basement turbine out of a Batman racket. Right. So there isn't a lot of wind down here, but like... Stick Nomi in the ground. Sorry, Nomi. Put the fan on top of the f his flat table butt. I feel that pain, Nomi. I have one too. And tie the racket line like this. Hey, alright. I should, like, start a company. Sustainable garbage turbine. Get on. What? I think I fixed it. Now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, we did it. We, what did you do? I've engineered an elegant long-term solution. <laughs> oh my god, that one. God damn it. Way to go, May. Please don't ever fix anything again. Like, don't even have a pet. Anything you have to maintain. Ah, oh, freaking crap. It was totally gonna work. This is so typical. I'm going to check the exit. Chat, can we get some Omega Lols for that failure? Wait here. Is she gonna lock us in? Damn it. She locked us in. SMH. They were locked in together. Hmm, chatters? I have no idea if this is at all in this game, but like, hmm, chatters? What, what do we say at this situation? Which, which emotes exemplify this moment? Chatters? Surely, you know. And then they, I mean, chatters, come on, where's your, your emote responses? I want to see your, this is such a, this is such a people friendship moment. Such a people friendship moment. Being in luck together with my bestie, yippee. Ah, I know what this was going to happen. Stupid, stupid me. You could cut a hole in the floor. See if you could yell. Yeah, sure. It's not gonna work. Miss Miranda! It didn't work. 
<laughs> people pride, people of friendship. Well, the knob, this knob is really old and loose. Maybe I can like figure this out. I'll look around too. Yeah, you go and look around a whole bunch. Surely, surely we smash everything. No I'm kidding. Jumpies. Can I use reuse some of the the goods? Hmm. The one thing she could hear is the furnace. When it was broken. Broken things need to be broken. Oh. Hmm. Well, it's the one tool I do know how to use. A tool for beating. Ass. So true. And I just go up here. Just do this. <laughs> Imagine. Hypey! More destruction of property! Let's go! Why is this so epic, though? Yippee! I go jump! <laughs> Chat, you are such gremlins. I love how B just fixed this and we immediately ruined it. I love how B just doesn't fucking notice this. I think the thing is gonna explode. <laughs> Suck it, you piece of crap, furnace! Wow, that is pretty loud. Oh, jeez. Surprised I can't hear that back in town. Okay, she's cool, she's coming, thank god. Uh, thank me? Hey, Miss Miranda, you locked us in! I love how we fixed the furnace and then broke it again. Well, that was fun. Uh huh. You alright? She gives lemonade! Yeah. Uh, it's such a nice night out. Lovely. Then what's up? Nothing, just tired. Worked all day. I'm all hyper. Good for you. Uh, you're zero fun. Yep. You need, like, some magical shit to, like, give you a new perspective. Let me know when that happens. Wouldn't want to miss it. Why am I so bad at conversation holding with her? I really want to be better. Climbing. Post jab, I have an idea. Can I just climb up all the way? Just getting all of these fuckers. I think that's what I meant to do. Wow, haha. <laughs> Are you like a firefight whisperer or something? They just like me, I guess. That's... You're an interesting person, Maborowski. Granddad said being interesting is all you can hope to be. Uh, mission accomplished. Woohoo. You know, I have to say this would have been a much less exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. Along for the ride? I believe I work pretty hard down there. I should get a cut of the bill. Not a chance, you're an unpaid intern. Fight you for it, fight you here now. You should like, channel that aggression you always have into something useful. Eh, uh, Dr. Hank said way back, I need to repress it. Repress, not like learn to deal with it? He specifically said repress. Um, okay, um. So do you think Miss Miranda like, pulled her husband's guts out? Isn't that what you do for mummies? Dunno, babe. You think you'd have the stomach for it? Nope. Probably took a lot of heart. Yep. I wish you would explain it to us. I get it, mate. She really wrecked. <laughs> that probably stayed in place. <laughs> yeah, that should stay where it belongs. I'm leaving. Hey, you gotta live your life. <laughs> Bye, this is me gone. Wait, wait up. You're walking back to town. You've got a lot of gold to say that! I'm calling the cops. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That was really fun. That was a nice little time. 
working Gurg around the phones who makes a mummy. Hello, Dad. Hello, Father. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory, is it? I've mined, I've run machines, but now I get to slice sticks and hook salamis. I mean, it's easy on the back, that's for sure. But, like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. What you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. Feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places where you could get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. Huh, you kids with your slang. Slang you can pick up at work. Oh, yeah, point made. Hey, Dad, would you mind moving the boxes? Well, what you have done for me lately, but it likes our daughter. It doesn't count. I don't want to watch TV, though. Fuck off. Sounds like a plan. I'll just not do it. <laughs> I'll just want to check, like, the messages. And then I think we'll be done for today. A bit of a shorter one. But I do have to do other work after this. I'm tired. Hey, Pog, what you do tonight? Got trapped in the basement. Beat up a furnace. Right on, man. Night-night. Hey, that was fun. Let's do that again sometime. You're pretty handy when it comes to breaking stuff. I'm sure there's a job in there somewhere. Yeah, it's called demolition. You could actually get a job doing that. Holy shit, I felt my calling. I'm glad I could help you facilitate that. Oh, so I looked at people who, who attract insects. Seems to come down to a lot of heat and various odors. They can't get enough of this. I guess not. Good night, May. Night. No, that was nice. Alright, chatters. That'll be that for today. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I've really been liking these uh, Night in the Woods streams. They're really fun. They're just kind of vibey. Cat kiss, thank you, kings. And, um, yeah, if you haven't followed already and you're here, feel free. It means a lot. And, uh, I will see you tomorrow. For probably some MCC Island Tubnet variety Minecraft. To see if I could get some friends as well. But probably gonna focus just on having getting level 30 on Tubnet and like maybe getting a few levels at the MCC Island. That would be lovely as well. I don't know. Just a chill Minecraft time. Uh, probably not gonna be the longest stream either because I've got like big social stuff tomorrow. So we'll see how much energy I've got at the end of the day, but hopefully enough. And, um,. Ah, oh, is it? Yeah. I'll send you, I'll send you to Amesy because it's Amesy's birthday today. Wish him a happy birthday once you're there, kings. And I'll see you tomorrow for Variety Minecraft. Thank you, your kings, for that. Uh, Starting the raid. Yeah, no, thanks for the stream. Ah, it was, it was my pleasure, chatters. I enjoy that game greatly. And I like seeing, like, new stuff I've never seen in the game. But yeah, send you over to Amesy. Once you're there, just, just... Put like some rainy modes and then just like put like some big happy birthday wishes, kings. Uh, cause you know, birthdays are pokers. Alright, kings. See you tomorrow, probably. Bye! Oh no, I've done the exact same mistake again. Why do I do this? Oh my gosh, notifications are out fast today. Early boys, early boys, can I get some highs in the chat if you're here? Uh, any early boys? Cat jam? Yeah, yes. Any early boys? Can I get some highs in the chat? Some highs. Yes! You're getting it, you're getting it. You're so damn good for that. From here, ba 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 Hold on. Surely I go for some channel points, kings. Shut up. 
Hi chat, can I see some highs? Can I see some highs, boys? I love to see good boys hi at me. It makes me happy. Hi, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't wanna be here all my life, sat waiting on you. Gonna be surprised. Hello! Hi Leo! Hi Kai! Hi! You're really getting it, kids. I'm so proud of you boys. Very happy to see all the highs incorporated. Hi, chat. Yes, yes, it is the last stream before Christmas. Because I'm, I'm going to be on a little break. Have any of you watched or heard of Blue? I have heard of it and I got it recommended, but I haven't watched it. I think, I think, I saw you got Bingo. I got Bingo Teddy. Ooh. I know nothing about the show except that it's apparently good. And I see, I know what the main character is, is, looks like. I was a bit surprised, like, because for some reason in my brain, I thought at first when I heard of Bluey that they, it was like a spin-off show of Blue's Clues, like directly, like the same thing. And I was like, surely, surely, boys. Intro time. Hello chat. Oh, it didn't want to do the game. No. Game, can you can you appear? Thank you. Bingo's blue sister. Ooh, nice. Pokers. I don't know much about it really at all. So, but I, I mean, maybe I'll I'll find some time to watch uh, during the Christmas break. I'm quite okay. How's everyone's week? Yeah, exactly. Chat. How are you boys? Bedtime. Yes. Can I go to bed immediately? Thank you. Bingo some Corp. So true, Leo. So true. But yeah, how is everyone, chat? Hope you're very well. I've had a really, really busy day. Um, but yeah, can't let you boys go out without uh, a stream. Oh, we got a dream. It's been chill. People comfy. That's good. I feel like everyone except me has had a chill time this week. Like everyone's like, ah, oh, I've been meeting friends. Ah, oh, I've just been, I don't know, like hanging out and stuff. Oh, am I meant to fall down here? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's this dream. It didn't save this dream. Whoops, that happens. I'm gonna you guys will probably be sleeping soon. That's fair. I forgot about the stream. Whoopsie. It happens. Apparently I didn't save correctly, so we have to redo this. It's chill though, because this is a cool dream. Yippee. Cool. Okay, we're in the darkness. Sleepy. Um, oh man. <laughs> I, I'm trying. Okay, chat. I'm trying. It's chill though. Uh, but yeah, I've had a really busy day. I had an appointment early today, like 11.30 a.m. Um, yeah, it's not poggers, man. I always am like, oh, I'm so lucky that I get to take some of these appointments because I have, like, time then. But then I'm like, no, that also means I have to be there at that time. Why? You know what I mean, chat? Hi, Garrick. Welcome to stream. We're playing Down in the Woods. It's the final stream before my little Christmas break. It's like the noise level's alright, chat. Or should I tune, uh, tone down the game a bit? I can't quite tell if it's too loud for you or not. Nah, it's good? Okay, if it's good, then it's good. Um, but yeah, so that means I have, to, I have to, like, go out. And I was a bit late again because the fucking traffic. And I was like, oh my god, help. But it wasn't a problem because the appointment place wasn't super busy. So they didn't mind that I was like... 20 minutes late, it's chill. So I had that all done. It was so annoying, because it took me like 20 minutes to get to the place, and the appointment itself was like two minutes. So it was it was a long way for literally jackal reason. But then I, I went to the post office, sent away a book that I sold, and then I decided to get some last minute Christmas presents and do like grocery shopping and stuff. I know, hugely thrilling. Ooh, I didn't know you could go in here. I went to Lidl, not for any other reason, but I did find stuff I needed. Lidl is based. 
we love it. Oh, we need one more. Oh, this is a different dream, actually. Never mind. I was like, ah, we've done this one before, but we haven't, actually. But I'm missing one of the musicians. I'm missing one of them. But yeah, so I was like, okay, let me let me do some grocery shopping and like get some last minute stuff that for like my family members. So I did that, I did that, it was poggers. Because I was I was in a place I usually don't go. Because I go other places really. And I was like, alright. Hold on, let me try and do parkour up this thing here. I don't know where the one that I'm missing is at. Missing one, hello! Where you at? Okay, let's see if we can go up here. I'm gonna try and go down. Can I go down like that? Can I? Hello, let me down! Help! Eh. The subs are still here? Yes! Yippee! It fixed itself! So that's cool. I don't know how, how to get up there. Like in that midsection. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, it's annoying how it's your last stream until you have a Christmas break, but I hope you have an amazing Christmas break. Yeah, it's because I physically cannot stream tomorrow. Because I'm already... I'll be honest, chat. My to-do list today had like 20 points on it. And... I have like a lot to do until tomorrow. I'm very behind actually on the stuff I meant to do before my break. And I'm like, oh, plus I have another job I have to do on Friday. Oh God, chat. Believe me, my, my, my ability to do what I need to do at the moment is literally held together by like bits of string. I'm not kidding. You gotta take a break to work? Yeah, I'm the guy who takes a break to do other work, man, Jesus. Plus a check, thank you. Actually very considerate of you guys. So yeah, that's why, because I'm like, I also, where I live, um, my family, like we celebrate actual Christmas on the 24th. So, and I'm visiting my family, so I'm not at home. So even if I wanted to, I couldn't stream then because I'm not at my usual setup. And well, to be honest, I, I don't really want to drag like my microphone and everything to my parents' house for, for Christmas, you know? Last year I also took like three days. I checked. I was like, did I take three days off for Christmas? And I was like, okay, yeah, I did. Uh, cause I, I wasn't sure how much I'd take, I'd take it off, but it was three days in a row. And I was like, okay, well, I take three days. Especially since I'm not home for two of those. And the third one is like another dinner that I need to like help out with, as you should. I appreciate it, boys. <sighs> Like, believe me if I say, if I tell you, I can't even properly express how overly busy I am at the moment. I don't know how to get to that one section! Because there's like, fucking strings there. Hold on, let me try. We could do it like this. I don't know how to get there. I saw it, but like, it's just not working out for me. It's fine though. It's chill. And yeah, that's where we, we were already, my god. Let me live, plus game. So yeah, no, uh... So last minute Christmas presents. I got my dad one of the, like, heating pillow things that I also use with cherry seeds in them. I don't know if you have that in your place. Yeah, true, it's better to spend Christmas with your parents instead of streaming. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have pretty cool, like, immediate family members who I love and I don't get to spend loads of time with some of them anyways because I literally have like three things I go on in my life all the time. It's like education and then job and then streaming. Plus I've been trying to have a more active social life um, in 2022. So that as well, like meeting up with friends more in person, all that kind of stuff. Thank you for the hydrate. Like, look, I want to try, I want to, like, leave this thing, but I can't. Look, like, I want to jump on that. You know, this popular arc? Yeah. Guess so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to get up there. Maybe you're not even meant to be up there. I don't even know. 
this point. Like, but there's like stuff up there and I don't know how to get up there, you know? Any, any Night of the Woods experts in the chat? But yeah, so I, I was like, all right. Uh, so I got my dad one of the, the heaty pillows. And then I decided, okay, I'm going to give my, uh, my parents and also my grandma some, you know, and it's, you know, you know what you give people, is it like this? No, it's not. Um, what you give people for, for like special occasions, like fancy drinks, right? Surely fancy drinks. And so I got like some for my family and I got carded, like I had to show ID when, but, in front of people, like the, the cashier because like she was like I, I can't tell um so like could you show ID and I was like okay of course no worries and she was super nice for, for some reason like usually right around the Christmas time it's like horrific to do any sort of shopping because well it's super busy and everyone's stressed out but today it felt like everyone was kind of in that chill arc like Everyone was really nice and was like wishing each other happy holidays and all this stuff. I don't know where to get the fourth one, boys. I'm a bit lost, not gonna lie. So I've been running around this map and I'm just not finding the final person. I'll check back here, maybe. No, I've already done this guy. Where's the other guy? SMH. So, I lost in my mind, lol. Fair. It was hella busy yesterday at 2pm. It's weird. I imagine. But yeah, no, it was like, everyone was kind of in their chill arc. Like, I was like, wrapping my, the gift for my dad at the shop I bought it in. Because they had like a wrapping station. And there was another fella there wrapping his present. And he was like, oh, I'll make space for you. I was like, oh, that's alright. Okay, I finally found it. There you go. Um, and he was like, oh, I'll, I'll make space for you. Can I jump here? Oh, I can. Yippee. This is where it is. Thank God. I was like, where the hell is it? It was really nice. And then when he was done, he was like, ah, have like, have good, like, good, um, have, like a good festive season. And I was like, oh, thank you, you as well. So that was quite lovely. And yeah, I got like some last minute games and then I bought some other stuff. I bought a new fan because like, not a fan, a hairdryer, sorry. I bought a new hairdryer because I thought my hairdryer was broken, but it wasn't apparently. So now we got a second hairdryer for no reason. It's chill. But I used it, so that was kind of poggers. It's it's nice because it's, it's like compact. It's got like a little hanger so you can hang it up. So that's kind of cool. And I've got like little bits and bobs around the, the place. I got this, um, like one thing I've been looking for a while was like a scrub. Um, cause I don't know, I like the feeling and I was like, I want one of those. But I've been trying so hard to find one that's, that's not oily or creamy because my skin isn't that dry. Like if I just plop a bunch of like really oily stuff, it's just gonna become like not good. Cause um, you know, it's like what you do in terms of that kind of stuff, it's meant to compensate for what your skin is maybe struggling with, and mine is not struggling with being too dry, so I shouldn't use anything that makes it too wet, if that makes sense. Alas, I was like, oh, I've been looking for a scrub that isn't oil or cream based, but is like, you know, scratchy based, but not too scratchy. And today I finally found one, chat! Long story short, I finally found one, and it's with coffee. So that's pretty poggers. And I used it and it, it's very nice. It makes your skin really soft. It was like, yippee! A uh, literal yippee moment. Big excited. Oh Jesus, slipped off that. And yeah, then I had like, and then I also went grocery shopping for my, like some of the stuff that my family needed. And, oh boy. It's getting intense, it's getting intense. Oh God. Drama. The 
let's do a little bit of the dungeon crawly game and then do the the base two times for today. Cause I want to play the the dungeon crawly game. I don't know why. Been feeling that. Any messages? Hey, got a call from Mrs. Miranda. Apparently, she's upset we messed up a basement. Whatever. She didn't play us to clean it up. I'm at work all day. Just say if you want to say hello. I'm here to be hello that. Oh. Hey boyo, at work all day, very bored, work sucks, crap fucking more like it. Okay, we'll say to uh, we'll say hi to B later. But we're playing a little bit of the dungeon game because I wanna like vibe. Continue. I wanna vibe a smidge and while I story tell. And I can't do that while I'm playing the the other like the base game. Is this guy an enemy? I don't know if I was meant to kill him. Probably not. But it's fine. I'm just gonna be on my evil arc in this game. Okay, let's go over here. These guys be looking kind of intense. Oh, these are fellas that are like two steps. There you go. Okay, getting some some bits of bobs. Got him. Yippee! Okay, we're just doing a little bit of the slashy game. Slash times. I forgot. I, I think I could dash, right? I forgot with what key though. Ah, with spa uh, space bar. Like that. There we go. So yeah, I, I did all of that. I did all of that in town. And then I also went grocery shopping. So it was like me with the new hairdryer in my backpack. Oh, jeez. In my backpack. And like two bags stuffed like completely full with the presents uh, plus other like stuff I got at the stores and I was struggling so much man to bring that home but I did it I did it you peep uh, and like <laughs> then I was home and I, it was like 2 p.m. and I'd already done 10 things on my to-do list at that point and I was like oh my god this is a heavy day but then you know chat hypey update I baked cookies if you don't know, I quite enjoy baking, and I'm, like, the best baker in my family, basically. Which is not that my family is, like, also really good, and I'm just as much better, but, like, I I am genuinely quite good at baking. And I always, like, make mostly around the, uh, cookies mostly around the holidays, because they're a lot of work, obviously. And I like to do that around that time, because then it's kind of like, you know, it's worth it. And every time I kind of try out new stuff and also bring back like favorites that my family liked last year. Because I'm cool like that, what can I say? There you go. I don't even know if you can cross the, the blood paths or nah. Kind of doesn't seem like it, just say. Yeah, I was about to say, it doesn't seem like you can cross there. roam around so uh, this year I decided okay I'm gonna be making four different kinds because I'm a maniac and two are ones that I've already made like the brownie cookies which are very loved in my family and then I have like a, a lemon cookie I make it's like if any of you guys know like Italian lemon cookies like that. Should also keep track of my health real fast. There you go. So I I have those on the agenda, but I'm making those tomorrow. I wanted to make the ones I've never made today, so I made those. Uh, I made uh, Snickerdoodles chat. Don't know if you know those, but they're like cinnamon sugar cinnamon cookies. And then I also made apple toffee cookies. And they are they both turned out really well. They were not that much work to be honest. They took uh, it didn't take that long. It was like an hour total or so, including baking time. But yeah, they're very poggers kings. Yippee. I, I did take pictures, but I kind of got too lazy to try and, like, export those 
for you boys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm vibing emotionally with this cat at the moment. Keep her sit. Oh, you're sitting, boys. Well done. I don't know how to cross these, like, river things. Because I don't think you can- Oh, you can dash across, probably. Yeah, I was about to say, surely you could dash across. Don't think they were meant to be inaccessible, so I figured it out. We good. What are the areas? Did we not know how to access earlier? Anything up here? Yippee! Oh, now I murdered myself for no reason. Now it's chill, now we good. Where the heck is like the big portal thing? Oh, here. There you go. Got another level. Now the boss fight. Oh boy. Ah, oh, shit. Piss. Ah, oh, shit. I'm not laid this particularly cautious. Uh, I need to actually be in the correct direction. Okay, got him. Getting a rhythm. To run close, but turn around immediately. Shit. Ah, sorry, I'm focusing, chat. I'm actually focusing kind of hard. Ah. Oh, piss. Oh, shit, I'm on three hearts. I didn't realize he was making taking that much damage. Oh, but I've almost got him. Yes, I got him. Oh, my gosh, first try. I'm cracked. I'm cracked. I'm so damn cracked. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we're not gonna make another, we are gonna make, take another level right now. There you go, surrender to the horror real quick. <sighs> so I did the cookies and then I did work and that's been my day really. Just a series of a bunch of stuff that's been happening. We'll go with Weird Autumn at the start. Something fun. Play two songs and then we'll do like hang out with B. How does anyone like do those correctly where you can't even count how many it's meant to be? Oh, sorry, chat. Fucking it up. Like these ones, how are you meant to count that? How are you meant to know how many there's, there's actually going in there? 
the fuck? Ah, uh, see if I can actually do it slightly better. I'll do, I'll do the other, I'll do die anywhere else. Okay, I could do this. I need to chill out. Pause champ. Any cat jabbers? That brought me out so much. I had like no errors beforehand. No, why am I sabotaged? The fuck. Still pretty good, gotta say. Respect to me. Not to pat my own horn, but aside from that one section where I got distracted by the stream potentially crashing, I did like no errors, man. I was so happy. Also, how dare you say, it's that bad, considering I don't know the song. Fuck you, mate. And I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> I literally played it flawless except for that one section. What the fuck? How dare you, game? No, I'm kidding. But I have to play like 100% of my brain cells then. Because like, the thing that's been annoying me as well is like, I see which have my like my stream in the background which i usually always have but eh, this window isn't huge i mean can i do it like that i think that's my heart okay there you go so yeah i kind of did uh, a lot of stuff today and i do have a, a lot of stuff to do as well after this and tomorrow and oh god chat i feel my brain cells leaking actively not even kidding so this will not be a really long stream today don't think we'll even go to the two hour mark just because I have so much to do and but I still didn't want to leave you boys hanging today so that's why we're doing some gaming so you'll probably do like a day or two in this game rather than going for like a really long it depends how long this day is basically but like we might even just do this one it is a bit annoying, and I wish I had more time, but I just don't, realistically. I also need, like, rest occasionally. I can't just, like, steamroll and do projects, uh, like, 24-7. I also, like, cleaned the house and ran, like, eight errands. So, it's been a long day. <laughs> Gonna make my dog anxious, and she poops a lot when she's anxious. Sure. Uh, however, like, on the bus rides that I've been ha uh, having to take recently... I've been reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I'm really, I'm like 75 pages in, so really early in the game, in the game, in the book, Jesus Christ. It's like the Quidditch World Cup, basically. 
is where I'm at, and it's it's cool. I enjoy it. It's a comforting read, which is what I need at the moment. Something that I already know the plot of. I don't need to like feel myself into the the characters or anything. I don't really want to talk to the mom. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna this playthrough. I'm just gonna focus on B. I think literally that and like playing the bass every every day and like occasionally play the game and like maybe do the uh st astrology stuff but i don't really have like the patience to talk with every character all i you know i feel like that's fair i'm focused on getting to know me because this is a story that i haven't seen ever hey dude hello how's work here going Eh, I don't know. It pays. Fair. Hey, B. Hey, B. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me? Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. Not so stressful. Well, on top of everything else, so true. We're hosting that stupid harvest play tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to today? Uh, nothing. I'm, like, super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting. Plus rep, B. Plus rep relatable man and i'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner so true relatable man me right now <laughs> no i'm kidding but like uh let's say you know i'm a big believer right in proportional complaining um you know that experience that i think probably everyone has if you have like a parent or guardian or someone like older in your family it's like you start to like it's like, like let off a bit of steam by complaining about a, a something and then they go when i was your age i had to walk 500 miles to go to school you kids these days have it so easy and like kind of that kind of stuff where people immediately it feels like they're immediately undermining your feeling of exhaustion or like feeling like you're struggling uh, with like workload or something like that at the moment and it's very disheartening i'm sure most people probably don't mean it like that but like that's how it comes across and to me i'm always like man the fuck like for me it's it's more about like what is a lot in relation to myself rather than like in relation to other people because like other people are not living my life does that make sense chat so to me it's like okay right now for example i am horrifically busy pretty much the busiest i've been in a long long time and some stuff that i'm trying to like accomplish is stuff that i do usually don't for example planning a subathon i've only ever done that one time arguably at a time where i had more free time than i do right now and uh, some other responsibilities in my life um i also quite a new kind of new and everything are the stuff i'm familiar with still this is like something I, that feels incredibly busy to me doesn't matter like there isn't an objective standard about when you're allowed to feel exhausted and i can for sure say i am tired boys like i can't wait to finally be done with everything like on Chris on literally on christmas day probably and like have a nice dinner with my mom and like my stepmom and play the professor late game i've been saving up for us for like two and a half months and giving my family their gifts I'm very excited for that, mostly because it means I finally have a bit of a breather of work. And then I do more work afterwards, because of course, you know, best boys. Uh, even though I'm the only employee and I do not own the store. So true. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you owned this place now. You'd think. Sup, gamer? Hi, cat! We're playing Night of the Woods and we've been following B's storyline. I was just talking about proportionally be feeling exhausted. A little bit and being excited for a little bit of break even though my break technically even though i'm not streaming tomorrow it only really starts on the 24th because i have like shit tons of work to do tomorrow so that's gonna be a time you'd think you'd also know i'd rather die literally make me a coffin using materials and tools from this store and bury me anywhere else so true jeez that got intense ah anyways i'm doing nothing tonight i can do nothing too fine so we do this Let's egg out. Hi, B. Hi, Bay. Hi, Job. Hey, dude. Job is helping me move stuff for under the table cash. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna go for work early to pick up, up some groceries when I come. Sure, let's go grocery shopping. Yippee! This is so. The, okay, if you're wondering, right? The whole point is like, I've played a bit of this game. I've played 40 minutes. We've already passed that point in this playthrough. 
but I have watched like other people play, and everyone I've ever watched play uh, play this game, they go for um, Greg's storyline and like hang out with Greg all the time, which is a great storyline. But I, that means I and maybe you guys have never seen B storyline, and it's been really fun to see that because it's not something. It's like a, the part of the story I'm not familiar with, basically. Uh, you got a lot of hammers. Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails. All right, then. He like He's like something out of a children's book about whatever the hell he is, Laval. But yeah. Did it? Did not! Ooh, chat. Pause, chap. Pause, chap. This place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kinda. Food? You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. True. That's so true. Okay, I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were gonna hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for my dad and me. Ooh, damn. I have some cookie dough in my hand. The SMH. Cookie dough moment. I made cookies today, chap. If you're wondering. If, oh, if you weren't here. I talked about it. I made snickerdoodles and I made apple toffee cookies. And they're both chef's kiss not to pat my own uh, back too much, but I am quite a good baker, boys. Especially uh, cookies and like muffins and stuff are pretty good. Not so much in the cake department, mostly because of lack of practice, really. Uh, I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. Let me pick out what we have. Oh, I'm sorry, are you coming to dinner? Ooh, can I? We're inviting ourselves over. Ooh. Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. Yippee! Food. Wait, you're serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need, like, a main course and two sides. What's count what counts as a main course? You can stop back in the meat section once you pick up whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, okay. You hang back out and I'll be right back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Oh, I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. Okay, let's let's get stuff then. What is this? What is here? Woo, we get to pick. Oh, for sure. Greedy beanies. Yes. Delish. For real, greedy beanies. I love this. I've never seen this part. Ooh, mac and cheese. Tasty taters. Mash smooth. I hate that. Rice. Yes. Yes, rice and beans are based. Ooh, cream greens. No, I don't want this. Biscuits, no. Let me leave. The alligator guy gives me gender envy. Respect, respect, honestly. Hmm, should I get bakey shaky? That goes well with meat. Yes. I think we got, we are good, I think. Check out the cooler, it's got stuff. Oh my gosh, why not the, the cooler? Why are we forced? I don't like spinach. Like, the slimy kind, this kind. Uh, I don't, is it like spinach exclusive? Oh, I don't like cream spinach, I hate it. The texture's just like, why? Biscuits, okay, well I guess we'll pick biscuits. Ooh la la. Spinach is nasty. I like, like fresh spinach is good, like baby spinach. Chef's kiss. Wonderful. Great. If it's like in a pad, like the leafy. Yes. If it's creamed, it just looks like vomit and it tastes like shit. And the texture is just, ah, it's grimy. I don't like it. Not a fan. My dad works at the deli. We could get there for meats. All spinach is bad. How's fair. I just like baby spinach, but otherwise that. Nah. I'm very much a guy who like has so many foods where I like one specific preparation of it, but I don't really like the other kinds. Another one is, for example, uh, paprika. I don't like raw pap paprika. I, however, like paprika chips, and I enjoy paprika, like, grilled. And things like that. Yeah. Or carrots. I think carrots taste best, like, just raw and whole. I don't really like grated carrots. Like, cooked carrots is fine. But, like, grilled carrots, however, chef's kiss, if you've ever had... Um, it's like fake, it's basically like the what they do to make vegan fish sticks, at least when I was a kid, was just make, um, like, what, 
what, what is the word for this? Marinade? There we go. Marinade carrots in like uh, br breading, like bread crumbs, and like fried in a pan. It's really good. If, if any of you guys are like vegetarian or vegan, especially. But in general, it's good for any kind. Ah, oh, let's go. Ahoy there, ladies. Hey, Dad. Hey, B. Long time mercy. How are you, Mr. Borowski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Meat friends. Helps to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best fishes. True. Stuart, seeing you here. Meets the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say a lot of people. Yep, called a greeter. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Also, by the way, today is the final day where I am live to try and get Chat to Christmas happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. Hot take. Considering my max amount of followers ever gained in a single stream is 10, I don't think we'll cross double that in one stream. However, chatters, before you go, no, Sag, oh my god, no chat at Christmas. I, you know, chat, awkward, ragey, yeah, no, it was an ambitious goal, to be fair, and... But however, chat, don't be too upset. Even if we don't reach the 350 before the 25th of December, considering I only stream today and then there's like... I don't stream until the 26th again. I don't consider it likely, unless one of you boys has like 10, 15, 20 friends in your back pocket that you haven't already told about the stream. I don't know. Seems kind of unlikely. Uh, but, you know, on the 26th, maybe, maybe show up. We may do like a little budget version of Chatter Christmas. So keep that in mind, kings. Hope to see you on the 26th. Okay, what if I follow on 15 alt accounts? Well, I guess so. People party, cat kiss, people love people party. Yeah, so I, we may do like a little budget version of, of Chatter Christmas where it's, it's less like you guys give me like your Amazon wish list. More like maybe I gift you a sub or something. Because <laughs> I do still want to do something for you lads, even if we didn't get the, the full goal done. Because we did still get quite quite far we got like 20 into the 50 goal which i think is pretty good you almost got like halfway through it so that's pretty poggers alternatives not working oh so what are you lovely ladies doing here just grabbing something for dinner how's your dad all right what can i get for you ladies what do you want pork chops chicken what if your best fish is okay based on what we got right we got greens, rice, biscuits for, for fucking reason. Fish does not fit for this, really. I mean, it kind of does, but like, I'm feeling chicken for this. Chicken. Can't go wrong there. So true. Hmm, do you want to pull the trigger on these meats? Yes. Be you should come by for dinner sometime. At the ham panther. At home, eh? I'll grill us something nice. Pet the mods. So true. Can chop up. Just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah. Now let's get our meats. Come right up. Right to the decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great. All right, let's keep moving. Right, ladies, see what you all got. <laughs> yes, okay. It looks completely 100%. Okay. All right, thanks, Mr. Borowski. To your dad, I said hello. See you later, dad. Night, ladies. So, I will still do something small, boys. Uh, that was fun. Yup, groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. So true. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun. Uh, bro who gifted 105 subs while I wasn't looking. Uh, that was my friend Accent. His subs got restored. That's like a year and a half worth of subs. Man's, for some reason he was like a victim of like a random ass Twitch bug where... Like, it didn't show any of his subs in any chats, and he lost, like, all of his badges. And now, apparently, Twitch, like, restored it, so he's got his founder badge, and, like, the the gifted subs were restored. So, for, on my channel, if you're wondering, sorry for the music stop, it's because I'm tapping out. If you're wondering, um, I have all time top gifters activated, so it's, like, 
everyone who's ever gifted a sub over the course of my entire channel since December 2021, when I got affiliated. Um, so a year ago, right? So I don't have like, um, what's it called? I don't have my subset that they like refresh at any point, mostly because I want to honor the people who like support the channel. And it's not that difficult for a new gifter to climb the ranks. Like for example, um, considering, hold on, where's like the list? Yeah, for example, like someone could gift one sub and they're already like in the top list as well. So in my opinion, it's not an issue where people are getting no recognition by the by some people having like a crazy advantage because accent's the only one who has a crazy advantage but that's fair like man like if you're wondering how crazy accent is accent had four thousand subs um no wait that wasn't accent two thousand sorry which is still a crazy amount two thousand gifted subs last for like 2022 in his recap i felt like crazy for my 50 um, but Mads at 2,000. So he, he supports a lot of smaller streamers like me and some of my friends as well. Uh, Dang they rich rich. Yeah, Axel is, is pretty wealthy. Mads, Mads is uh, very fortunate in that regard. And even more fortunate for a lot of small streamers like me and some of my friends. Um, he decides to share that with the, the general population rather than just hoarding everything. Which is poggers. Because um, solidarity and mutual aid and stuff is really cool. So, yippee! Big shout out to Accent. So I'm very happy that that got restored because it deserves a shout out. Also, boys, just saying, Accent was one of the people who was in the chat when I did my subathon announcement. And the subathon isn't capped. And this man has a lot of more money than he maybe should. Monkey S. Maybe... Maybe someone's not gonna last a while, just saying. Uh, someone once gifted like 200 subs to a smaller stream I watched. They haven't streamed in like 10 months though, so rip. Haha, <laughs> uncapped. Yeah, it's uncapped. Maybe regrets. Maybe regrets being oppressed right now, but it's shown up. But yeah, no, I've, I've, I've been like, I've watched like one streamer uh, ages ago and they got gifted like I think 500 subs, like out the blue. Like it was more than they even had followers and it was like crazy. Um, but like, I, I, I thought about this for a while, uh, what, where, that's cool and all, but I am much more interested in sort of, you know, building something with you guys, since you only have like 300 followers, well, yeah, exactly, Just things like that, things like that, where I'm, even though that's really cool, and of course, I, I highly appreciate it, like, Accent literally is, pro like, probably single-handedly been the person who enabled all of my Twitch payouts, who have, like, enabled me to buy, like, a microphone arm or, like, help pay for my new PC and things like that. But overall, I'm much more interested in building something with you boys, like, a an actual community that has staying power, rather than, like, a big flash and then, you know, like, that streamer you mentioned, like, not streaming in 10 months, like, that doesn't really seem to be like they are still a streamer, really. It seems like they are not, like, pursuing that furthermore, but, like, I don't know. To me, I'm much more interested in, like, a long-term community than, like, a crazy flashpoint and then it dies out immediately. Like, that's, that's not really what I'm looking for. So, to me, it's all about the, it's all about the, the small things when it comes to that. And I've been very happy with the community recently. Not that I wasn't before, but you know, I've been extra happy. Uh, woo. But extra happy about it, and I rather want more cool chatters that engage with what I do, rather than like, you know, crazy views or crazy sub gifting or anything like that. Uh, sometimes I think of being a streamer that I remember I only have a laptop and no gaming experience, lol. I don't know. You know, anything can happen. Plus, gaming streaming is only a part of streaming. So, like, there's lots of, for example, just chatting streamers. Just chatting is the biggest category on Twitch. And it's, like, underrated, in my opinion, to a lot of people. Because a lot of people see it as, like, oh, if you're on Twitch, you have to be a gamer. But, like, not really. Uh, dinner time. I've never seen anyone play this, like, dinner with bees family. 
This is okay. Thanks. Yeah, it's all right. Thanks. Yeah, it'll do. Thanks. You do. You did fine, mate. Thanks. Can't go wrong with meat and carbs. Thank you, May. Uh, I'm really good at food, or like, I don't know if I mentioned this. But I got a really good grade at home egg back in, <laughs> in high school. I made this shirt. Hey, hey, can you fix my pants? Any money in it? Dad, we could get you some new pants. This is a bit awkward. So yeah, we're all paid up till the 15th next month. All right? That rock salt sorted? Yeah, should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know, truly the riveting conversations right now. Uh, okay, uh, I need you to sign some things. Left them on the bar. Think I might just get to them. Please do. I have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but I don't, Beatrice. <laughs> Whose name is on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name is on the checks? Yours. Da da da. Awkward. No, it's awkward. Smelter's plan tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah, you guys have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yep. That's awkward. <laughs> Orcs moments. I talked to him. Hello. Smelter's up. You a fan? I like hockey. Hockey? Psh. What's not to like about hockey? Bunch of men prancing around in the ice skates, bro. And beating the living crap out of each other. Actually, I do quite enjoy ice hockey. Eh, can't get excited about a puck. But but it's like expected that someone's going to be bleeding by the end. No sportsmanship in it. How is what I described not sportsmanship? Ugh. Bruh. Hockey's actually cool. I like ice hockey. It's it's a bit base, not going to lie. Personal opinion. I know, just chatting shrimp is cool. Like, I used to be... Let's say a bit ambivalent about the concept. Everyone, everything I know from men's prize to rise come from Yuri and Ice. So true. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. So true. Why aren't you unpacked? Pretty cool record player. We're not going to bring up the old room. That's kind of... As far as record players go, it was my mom's. I don't have any, any records. I don't get records. My mom was into them. Haha, uh -huh. they were retro when she was my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. So true. So I've got a question. Mm -hmm. What exactly does your dad do at the store? These days, not much. Uh, some administrative stuff. He hires the repair guys. He sometimes go goes out on jobs. That's kind of his whole area. But that's about it. But yeah, it's still his name on everything. Yep. I mean, while you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and, working there every day too. Yep. I just think you should. Okay. I think you're shutting yourself out. I'm sorry, what? Like, you're not doing anything about it. Just, like, you not doing anything. Wait, no. Like, you not doing anything about it just reinforces. Is this really the road you want to go down with this? No. Both of these are shit options, by the way, but it's fine. Roll them and take it? Take it? You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. Why? Rah! What's your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek? Repair guy Creek at the shop? Yeah? Yeah, you met him when we were kids. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. My dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. Okay, awkward. What the? Yeah, exactly. And you know what? He still works for us. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Monka S chat. Any Monka S's? I'm just saying, that's a little bit Monka S. Why did you find him? I can't fire people. Yeah, that's a Monka S moment. That's not, that's not Poggers. And even if I could, he's on the crew. Frankly, he's our best guy. Frankly, he heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything. And Creek's got a family. He needs to work. That doesn't mean anything, bro. Wait a sec. Yeah, me too. I'm really familiar with that feeling. 
I'm just saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook, off the hook, like, you're stronger than this bee. You're, like, badass and shit. You... Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Ooh. Oh, yikes. Awkward. Awkward. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I... You are such a shit, you know that? Oh my gosh, they're having a fight. No. No. I'm, why am I so bad at communication? Ah! Ah! What? A lot of the time, folks can just choose to do whatever it is you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times, people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. That's fair. You don't always have a choice. That's kind of true. Why are both of these the exact same thing? That's not true, though. That is not true. Why are these dialogue options so shit? I'm just trying to talk. Because they know you don't always have a choice. And this is a choice between, like, have, like, like two impossible options that are both shit. And that's annoying. And, like, I feel for B here because she's basically like, okay, well, what choices does she have, right? Like, her dad clearly doesn't seem, like, able to do the job in the family business on his own anymore. So she kind of has to step up. Does it matter if the situation is kind of crap? You know, it's easy to be like in May's shoes and be like, oh, I'm on the outside. I'm just going to say, oh, you should be doing that. But like, at the end of the day, what alternative does she have that that is actually a real possibility? You know, you always have a choice. So as a child woman with no job, no rent, no responsibilities and no consequences for your stupid actions. I'm seriously going to punch your goddamn lights on. Fair. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up. You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who's both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time. You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful. That's not what I'm saying. Hmm. Both of these options are kind of shit, man. But it's chill. Yeah, it isn't. Nothing's right. The whole effing world isn't right. Like, Greg is probably off to God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. And you're the last person that asks for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. I thought we were having fun. We went to the mall. We got stuck in a basement. Yeah, that was all you did those days. I'd worked a good six hours before you even woke up, probably, and came home each night after you and I were done. To pay bills and figure out how we're making next payroll. Well, that's up on the couch. This isn't fun. So true. B is so based. Can we get some claps for B? This is just a real talk. You should go. It's kind of cool to play this storyline after knowing about Greg's storyline, which, while also has, like, kind of a pretty dark side, is a lot more people claps. So true. And, like, while... Greg's side also has, like, a lot of dark stuff in it. It is ostensibly showing here how much just having to care for your parent or, like, being parentified can, like, impact you. Even though being, like, and May and everyone is, like, 20, you're still kind of expected to be the child normally in the relationship with your parents or your guardian. And in this case, like, he's kind of acting like the parent in this relationship and it's obviously not poggers lads chicken dinner like mom two seconds for being late by an hour kick w typical bamba moments <laughs> Oh man, this is rough. But like, all the dialogue options that are presented by May are kind of crap, which makes sense because like, you're not playing as you. Like, I'm not playing me, I'm playing May, who is impacted by the fact Ham had the dinner fight. How did I mess that up? I wanted to get help. I'm garbage. No, but like, this is actually interesting. Because, okay, don't know why I'm talking about this right now, but like, this really exemplified. Like, my whole issue, I can relate to me. Yeah, I feel like... There's a lot to be relating about with B, where you have to... Bro, my wife are being so bad, like, these scoops are lagging awkward. It's on my end, though, Sag. Oh, no. But, like, the thing about games that is even more than... It's kind of like choosing your own adventure books, right? Because, depending on the game, of course, 
you're not really playing you, but since you are the person acting, it feels like it's you. But in this event, it was like, I kept being frustrated because the dialogue options weren't what I think is correct to say this or would be helpful to say in this situation. But it's actually really smart because May, the character, doesn't know what to say that is actually productive in that situation, which is why there isn't a dialogue option for that. And that's kind of cool to think about that. It's like, okay, you could think hmm, maybe like going all about like acting as if you know everything about someone you used to be friends with and you just rekindled a little bit is a little bit intense. And it's easy to have good advice if you're speaking from the outside or think you have good advice. But May doesn't know this. Like May doesn't have the lived experience of this. I mean, even though she's had like some, like some of her life has obviously been challenging, certain certain things were always a given for her. Like, okay, she still has two parents. Both of those parents are living in the same house and are still together. And you know, she has the option to once you know drop it out of college. She has a safety net and all this stuff. This isn't like necessarily a critique because it is the ideal circumstance. But specifically for her, this has meant that she finds. May a bee's circumstance is really unrelatable. And thus doesn't know the correct dialogue option, really. Quote unquote, the correct dialogue option. If there even is such a thing, you know? Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. So true. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, we haven't been back long. And you're not usually looking at the ham panther. Who's, who's to say I'm not? Well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Luck, luck. <laughs> you seem a little stressed tonight. Yep, a bit stressed. Stressed about... Oh, just stuff. That's vague. Haha, <laughs> well. I hate to be the one to break it to you. But you spend a lot of adult on being vaguely stressed. So true. So relatable, man. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have that too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. Hey, Dad, would you mind moving the boxes? Oh yeah, then we have to watch TV. That doesn't count. We'll watch the TV right now. Yeah, for a bit. Hold up, I'm watching Garbo and Malloy. Nice. Let's watch a bit of TV with our dad. We're back. Great crowd in it tonight. We'd never leave for too long, folks. Say Gabo. Yeah, Malloy. Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Clap, clap. Most of them, anyway. No, I mean, those old nights, those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are around the midsection. That's a whopper. Yippee. Stand up comedy moments. Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. Uh -huh. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. <laughs> uh, funnies. Dad. Okay, we've watched TV with Dad. Hopefully he moves the boxes. Hey, kid. Hey, yo. What you up to? Nothing kind of bummed tonight. Oh, why? No reason, just happens. Must be going around. I just got into a fight with B. Oh, no, about what? I don't even know. I think I'm just an arsehole. You and me both. The arsehole twins. We can get matching jackets with that on the back. Varsity jackets with giant arsehole patches on the sleeves. No! Uh -huh. Alright, dude. I'm cashing out for the day. See you, dude. You know, that's like kind of interesting that you have the same parallel stream, but you don't get to know what um, Greg is feeling right now because we didn't spend time with Greg outside of practice. Hey, B, you there? No the struggles yep oh no she replied you replied i don't really know how i screwed that up but i'm sorry it's fine go to sleep see you later okay 
I'm kind of invested, boys. So we'll do it one more day, I think. Bedtime, yeah. I said only like one day, but like now I'm kind of invested. And only shooting for an hour feels wrong, boys. We'll do one more day. Because I'm invested in like figure. Oh shit. And figure out what uh, what's up with B. If we can reconcile our friendship. We're on a train. Tra Back. People, hey, chat. People, hey. Remember to refresh. Refresh. Kings. There you go. We back. We back. We back, boys. Yippee. Sorry. The internet is a bit scruffy. It's going to be such a pain. I hope and pray for, like, stable connection through. Ooh, yippee. We're back. I hope and pray for stable connection during the subathon. But I can probably predict there's going to be disconnect. Pee pee party. Yippee, we're back, we're back. It's fine. It's the one annoying part why I live. I genuinely don't understand why it is. Like, we spent so much fucking money on internet. And it's still never, like, actually proper reliable. to update my badges once I have a, a spare moment. Hundred fifty points from a new round of VIP roulette. Evil, a devil face, evil face. That's gonna be a moment. Big frog. Big frog moments. Any big frogs in the chat? Right, oh, fell off. No. Awkward. Big frogs, let's go. You're big frogging, I see. Let me go this way this time. Let's go. Who the heck is this? How'd you get up there? 
Okay, hold on. Pause champ. Look at that. Okay. Getting it. was like the thing with all of them. Here, here. Found it. Oof, we're getting eaten. Chomp. Yeah, that was a chomp moment. If we got any messages, let's check. Craig, hello, happy, happy you know we've good get spooked or something. Away message and you'll have us first play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Among us, it's such an among us moment. Let's play. Come on, I could do we could do die anywhere else a little bit better. Come on, surely. Okay, I'm actually gonna focus hard. Among Us stream, but chat is just a bug ass thing. Oh shit, sorry, I can't read. I have to like focus fully on this. Shit, ah! I was doing so well. No, now I'm fucked up, and then now I'm pissed off because it's like very particular about like holding my concentration for this. want to be told something different at the end of this and not like ah oh, not bad considering I don't know the song because I do know the song stream i don't know i'm not like i don't know among us and me we have like a weird relationship i've basically only played among us with toby oh my god i get this again my god ah. i'm gonna play like the the space dragon song this one we'll play space dragon because we haven't played that one this playthrough
I'm playing poorly. So I'm so distracted. Sorry, chat. gonna get like a really bad grade for this one. That's fine. I'm just too distracted chat. Like I, if I lose like the concentration like a little bit it's the disadvantage of not having full screen because I've got so much in the background that I have like zero in and not get distracted and not like look at this or look at that and it's like ah it's fine. I'm not the ideal thing to play a song I barely remember, honestly. Ugh. I hate when you have to like finish the entire song even though you already screwed up so much. It's the same thing with this one like rhythm puzzle game that I play on the DS. Except there, if you screw up enough, it like force ends the game. Rather than here where you have to get like, oh, I don't know this song at the end because you have to play the entire song even though it's like a worthless attempt. It's chill though boys, it's just annoying. I don't- I wish you could play more than two times a day. Cause I wanna- like it's so annoying that like the first time I did like okay and now I'm ending on like a song that is like screwed up immensely. Not, not pocket lads. And I don't have, like, the time, boys. Like, as much as I love streaming and as much as I like this game, I just simply do not have time to play, like, a third day at all. Yeah, unless you don't know the song. I know, I know. I just don't have time, boys. And it's, it's very, it's annoying to me because, I don't know, I wish I had, like, slightly managed my time better so I didn't have, like, a scenario where I'm probably gonna have to work the next, like, ten hours straight. That's not gonna be uh, super fun. Alas, at least I have fresh made uh, homemade cookies, you know. At least the house is clean. Yippee. That's why I relate to being that and I was like, man. It'd be like that sometimes. Whoa, decorations. Girl, you can't mess around around Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Yeah. Bats and moon, what I miss. Uh, we went to dinner with B, and we got in a little bit of an argument because it's basically like B struggling with adulthood and kind of being in a position that isn't really like ideal for her, but there isn't really a lot of choices to help her out there, and then May not knowing like really how to help, and then being on odds with each other and now it's like the harvest festival day so we i guess we're gonna try and reconcile with b because realistically may may just has a lot of privilege that b doesn't against the gloom the night is black i made a snack cool Mike Mic microwave pizza i'd saved the pizza cold is breakfast gold that's so true it really happened based Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. You going to Harvest Fest? Nah, stay here for the trick-or-treaters. You are say it. So true. So that's basically it. It's just them clashing because of their different circumstances in life. Which just sometimes happens, you know. Don't touch my pumpkin. But what if I do? Hee hee hee. Then try and go to be... Yeah. That's it. I'd be screwing up the... The guitar parts, the bass parts, because brain cells a little bit. I need like 110% focus on any given point when I try to do that. Hello. Let's talk to the mall cop bar. Aunt. Hey, aunt mall cop. Mall cops don't carry guns, babe. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for, what are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh yeah, I wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? 
No, tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it, huh? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. Okay. Harvest fest. Yippee. Harvesting is a great little harvesty, which basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Taking the harvesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Can I not speak to B? No, I'll talk to this guy. You hyped for Harvest Fest? Uh, Harvest. Oh, yeah. Harvest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds pretty cool. This, gonna get a pizza too. All to myself. Wow. You have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? R ruining my life. Oh, sorry to bring it up. Oh, it's fine. Just a thing that happened. All right, the thing. Yup, that's my advice. Try not to have a thing. Okay. Yep. See ya. Later. Now we're not gonna do like crazy walking. We're gonna do the party. Cause I wanna do the party. Among us, sus. Sus moments. Sus compilation. home try to reconcile at the harvest fest well, mum home no oh wait has the space been freed different question bookshelves like the ghost Maybe not his ghost, like a skeleton. Ugh, I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm, there's like something written inside this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, left, right 50. This is like, what is this? Put him here, that should move him, it's only fair. like a statement so true oh yeah normal clothes oh yeah time to get spooky yippee sweet witch die Oh, we look so cute in our little witch outfit. Cute moments. Look at us, little guy. It's like us cosplaying as that character. Very cute. Yippee. Hello? Hmm, they must already be out. Surely, Harfest. So we'll do the Harfest still today. Ooh, everyone in the mum's out. Harfest. I want to do the fortune. Yes! Dare you spin the wheel of destiny? Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel, save that it is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Oh snap, is it going to say the sooth? The sooth shall be said. Oh, I'm into this. Number four. I'm getting. Is your arm injured? It's a little sore lately, actually. I could tell. I see all. Your fortune is your future. A place you will soon be. Forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. In your life are those who would harm you, but also those who will protect you. You shall know both in your time. So some people are cool, some people are assholes. Language. Sorry, this just seems like a random fact about life. The cards do not lie. The will that chooses the card is unknowable. So is this a noble truth? You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. Alrighty then. Music is based. Can we talk about the music? Oh, 
Hold up. Colleen, how did you get into this thing? God damn it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Welcome to Harfest. Spectacular water balloon toss. You know what to do. Can you figure it out pretty quick? Okay, let's go. Oh, you hit the spooky ghost. Yippee, I have a scary spirit and I've been hit. Gonna hunt you for that. I should be cold and wet. Is that Greg? Greg, no! You've hit the evil witch, not the evil witch. Oh my gosh, Greg is... Ah, witch! Where will I don't go next? Ouch, I'm gonna hex you up. Okay, I'm focusing on playing this game. Ah, no! Oops, I'm the pumpkin. You've hit me, the pumpkin. You've got me, the pumpkin, wet. Ouch, that would hurt me, the pumpkin. Crap, missed him this time. I'm freezing now, the pumpkin is freezing. Mm, that one's hard to hit. Okay, got him. Rattle, rattle, I'm a skeleton. Pog, I guess. Got him. Clickety clack, you hit my bones. Clunky clunk, that tickled my funny bone. Did it now. Oh, oh, 16. Well, that sure was something. On behalf of the Possible Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business and enjoy our historic home. Possible Springs, more like Cat Kathleen, no, more like Awesome Springs. Okay, we're done. Imagine if someone played this and hitting every single one. Imagine being that cracked at the game. Surely B is here. Hey, hey. What you up to? Seriously? I'm putting on this year's half ass pageant. Alright, okay. Back from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Ten minutes, I think. You think? Ah, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Combat's also be big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. Dot dot dot. What? Okay, so here's the thing, you won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it, B. Please, it's a fun part, B. Yeah, I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not, they wrote like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now and like 80% spooks. Okay, weird. It starts off normal but gets anyway. You've got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. Yippee, the show. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ghosts, are you here to hear the tale of how Puzzle Springs came to be? <laughs> Through the mist of time I see wary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, do I spy a deep hollow and within a great dead tree, besides with a witcher spring? Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels and carrying these 300 beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. Oh, travelers, spare a crust of bread for a needy woman? Haggard witch! 
Horrible to look upon, cruel young men. Ye did not even offer one of thy 300 fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. I shall curse ye and thee, and this very night ye shall perish. I am fearful. Steady, brother Stephen. I did not venture to th out of these hills to joust words with a hell hag. <laughs> I was born among these trees, neath the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old, old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. Ooh, spooky. Drama. Chat. Chat, can I see... Oh, we don't even have that one. Uh, can I see... Boys, can I see some chat people chats? Can I see some people chats from you boys in chat? I've plopped at it. People chat, people chat. Ye, yippee! Help, help! Who will help a poor traveler? It's quick. Um, um, um. By the moon and stars above us, uh, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? People chat. You are this. Yup. Ah, witch. Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very bad day, this horrifying crone, did curse my brother and I to die. Swounds? We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth. Life as a pile of 300 beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. Eehehehehe. <laughs> Hold on. A curse among rude young men. That's not, um... She has cursed the spring, and now I, I, sh I, now I shall die. I just kind of stop the, the, wow. I am also undone, for I have drank it of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. <laughs> uh, and yet even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Oh my gosh. The drama, boys. Gaze upon them! Gaze upon these spirits! Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I'm tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Drama. Um, um, crap. Four. But what is a ghost? But that which haunts the empty space that was once full, and once haunted can be uh, can a place be unhaunted? You, from the bus station, young witch. It is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to. Ain't that the way? So, witch, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to the wonder in the night through the stranger places. Stranger, stranger things. I. W I what? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. Night in the woods? But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. Forest god, thou hast no power here. Even now thy end beginneth. Ah, my internal, infernal powers. Shush, your witch. Even now the world you know endeth. And who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Where as you go, for there are ghosts. Woo! Take care. <laughs> I kind of felt like public mental breakdown was maybe not the vibe, so... And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. Our mayor ghosts decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. 
Now leave before I curse you all on our audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also be sure to pick up a fly on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. So true. So based. Based moments. People clap. Yeah. So true. Can we say a people clap for the show? Big people claps. Jeez. Thanks, guys. I'm never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Agnes is making dinner and we're going to watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. Awkward. Awkward chat. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Ham Panther. Kind of have to go business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. No! Okay, well. Good night. Night. No! I'm all alone! <laughs> the pain! This is garbage. So true, May. So true. Oh! Bus kind of walks. That's a little bit awkward. What the? People S? May is literally people Sing right now. Look at those eyes. May is literally going people S at this moment. <laughs> this is like. Hey, anyone? This is a bit awkward. Shit. Piss. Gotta follow the potential murder. The heart of home turns since 1972. Oh no. It's in here. Or oh, by here. People S. Pat, pat. Where the hell did he go? Shit. Is it like over here? Yikes. That's kind of awkward. You pay for that? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, chat. I'll, I'll do it. Uh, if you forgot how we're doing it these days, it's uh, we go and use the giveaway function of Fossabot. So hold on, let me pull that up real quick for you boys. As I like for you to see. I need to know the, the keyword. Oh, it was already pulled up. Never mind, I'm a dumbass. Hold on, chat. I'm just pulling it up. Should be this. Yeah, there you go. We've got it still open. Uh, but yeah, okay, um, chat. If you want to potentially win a VIP position, just type in uh, cap, uh, cap, uh, two colons, capital D. Chat, big smiles from you. Any, any potential VIP interested people, type in this. Okay, this. I'll type it in chat, because that's me, but I'm, I'm taking myself out. Any other people, feel free to add yourselves in. If it's just you, Cat, then you basically automatically get VIP. Temporarily, yeah. Which means Garrick doesn't have VIP anymore as well, because this is a temporary. The bots will have no power over me. So true. This is the, the advantage is no bots get given a VIP. The disadvantage is it's, it's like it requires more active participation from people. First sure. ship. Alright. There you go. We've got a cool proper picture king. Hold on. So you're now temporarily VIP king. GG. There you go. Neat. Yippee. Back to the game. There you go. May. Go home. There's a guy up down the hill. He stole some kid. He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you should be out here. Yippee? Yippee. Doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No, 
May now. Oh, that's so upsetting. Why are we here? What the heck? This is not terrifying at all or anything. Yippee! Surely nothing will happen. Surely nothing will happen at all. You have a cool badge now? Yeah, until the next person redeems VIP roulette. This is a temporary VIP only. Part three, the long fall. Interesting. Yes, yellow, I made it to stream. We are basically almost ending autumn. No! <laughs> we just got through the play. But hi autumn. Hello, friend. We'll do we'll do the message check and then we'll play the bass. But then I do have to end because I am ridiculously busy and the longer I stream the less time I have and the more I'm gonna have to do 24 hours of work tomorrow so I know but like I'm on my Christmas break well tomorrow I'm not my Christmas break I'm doing my basically half of my entire term paper tomorrow because I'm very behind and um, I've only done like two sections out of like eight it's fine and then I have my other job that I had to do and I still need to bake cookies tomorrow and package up all my Christmas gifts and go to my mum's house. There's a lot to do, King. So I need more like time today to do more stuff so I have a little bit less to do tomorrow. So I unfortunately can't really shoot for loads longer. Uh, hey dude, sorry, couldn't hang out last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Bad practice today. I'm leaving at 12 tomorrow, so based, let's go. Because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. What did Bay say? Hey Bay, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized I completely opposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. B, you're tempting me. I like this game. I want to play, but like, I know it's going to only get worse. We'll do like the base playing and maybe a little bit of the dungeon game. Among us jokes and you, all I have to do is walk into my kitchen. Fair. I feel like I'm the only person who's like literally so busy that my to-do lists uh, have reached 20 points plus a day. And like all of those are really important. <laughs> Oof. Yikes, yikes. And everyone else is like, ah, I'm like chilling, I'm vibing, and me being here like, I'm, I've never been less chill in my life. We play Weird Autumn just for you, Autumn. I can't like read messages very well because I'm focusing all of my brain cells. I'm playing this song, but I've already like made so many mistakes because I'm getting a very distracted chat. I know you are here because you're here and I love seeing your messages usually, but like this one, I can't read the same time as playing this game because it's requiring all my brain energy. Oh god. Sapella everyone. Hi babe. 
Good to see you to kick up your worries. Not bad, considering I don't know how to play. Oh my god. I don't know why I'm so bad. It's like, because I have like OBS in the background, so I can always monitor the fucking, you know, stream quality. This game isn't full screen. And then I have you boys like twice, because I have Chatterina, and then the I can actually close Chatterina probably. I'll close Chatterina. Because then I only have one chat open and not two on top of each other, which is kind of distracting. Uh, chat, any any wishes for the last song we'll do before, uh, for like the last time before before we'll Christmas break for me. Also, I've already mentioned I don't think, considering I'm not streaming until the twenty sixth, I don't think we're gonna get chat to Christmas uh, follow goal until then. Just saying, I don't think it's likely. What are the song so uh, song choices? Which songs we have? Space Dragon, Die Anywhere Else, or Weird Autumn, which is the song we just played. So I'll, I'll put a poll and you guys get to pick which song. Hold on. Little interactive moment. Give me the moment. The poll. Which song? I'll do... Space Dragon... Die Anywhere Else... I'll put it at a minute only. There you go, kings. Feel free to pick. But, uh, what was I? Oh, yeah, I don't think we are going to hit that goal, considering this is my last stream before the, the 25th. Well, the 26th is my next stream. But I said, and it's uh, no full chat to Christmas, probably, unless any of you boys have, like, ten best friends in your back pocket that would follow a stream even though they have never watched him. But we'll, we'll maybe, well, we'll, like, I'm thinking of doing, like, a, a smaller version of Chatter Christmas where instead of, like, doing the original idea, do, like, a, a downsized version of it. So I hope to see you on the 26th because I still want to give back to you boys. You've been really great. And even though we didn't quite make it to 350, or I presume, unless, again, some crazy miracle, but, like, I presume we won't make it. We'll still do like a mini one. Die anywhere else? Everyone wants die anywhere else? Okay, we'll do die anywhere else then. Final song for before Christmas. Okay, I'm gonna actually try. Why do I always fuck that one up? Are people happy egg? That's cute, chat.
we screwed up a little bit at that mid part. Not bad, not bad. Like, I still don't know how many times to press the thing during that, like, da -da 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 part, but, like, I think we're doing quite all right. Like, you can't kiss, boys. It's very nice if you stream it. Can't kiss, thank you. Yeah, we'll do, like, a mini version. We'll do, like, the same um, method we've been using for VIP uh, roulette recently, so, like, keywords. Um, cause I really like that. I've been watching a bunch more like just chatting streamers who do like forms and stuff or like interactive bits using that tool. And I find it incredibly fun. Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you, Kai. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you also. But yeah, I've been really interested in doing that more on stream as well. So I'm trying to like, I know, I don't. I don't want to go into presumptions in situations, including, like, I don't want to presume how much you boys interact with other people on this platform, or, like, what kind of content you watch, slash which functionalities of Twitch or, like, streaming conventions you're familiar with. Happy holidays. Hope you have an amazing time, and I'll see you after New Year's. If... Chill, you know, have some good times with your family. But, however, I, I would love to see you for the, uh, the summer thought I'm having on the 29th, which is before New Year's. If you have uh, any time, of course, family and like friends and your personal life goes first. But like, I'm not going on a huge break. I'm only going until the 25th. So I'm back streaming on the 26th of December and on the 29th, 6 p.m. GMT. Big subathon, yippee, fun times. Uh, it's uncapped. It's going to be really cool. I've got a lot of stuff I want to do there. There's going to be more information coming out. But yeah, that's that's what I'm very excited for. Since it doesn't have a cap, it could very well last over New Year's, uh, depending on how generous you boys are. But either way, it doesn't matter how long it lasts. It'll be a great time. I'm very excited. But yeah, so um, anyways, my point was I want to try and like bring everyone along with including new bits of stuff into the stream, similar to shopping stream. Yeah, shopping stream is kind of looking kind of cool. Uh, I want to bring you boys along and have it be, hold on, I'll put some music on for like a little chatty segment at the end. chatty cat kiss thank you boys we'll do a little little chatty bit since this is like the final bit before uh christmas so happy holidays if you uh, happy christmas if you celebrate merry christmas whatever if not i hope you have, still have a good few days until i see you again get to stream to an hour like two hours two hours 30 minutes it, it's like the current timer the current timer is at 47, but like the total timer of stream is at hour 56. I love how I said, I'll do a short stream today, and then I stream the exact same amount I usually has a, have as my shorter stream limit. I'm like, man, I'm such a silly guy sometimes. But yeah, no, I want to bring you along when we include new stuff in the stream, similar to how, like, with BTTV, I'm not just dumping new stuff. So this whole thing with the keywords, the giveaway feature, um is a really cool way to interact with communities in my personal opinion i find it really fun in other people's stre streams and i want to include that more in ours so using the vip stuff and also this upcoming like mini chatter christmas basically is going to be a way i feel like for all of uh, you guys to learn how to do that and for me to learn how to run it and everything and then maybe one day we can do fun stuff that is like you guys submitting stuff or like you know don't know if you'd like that, but I, I like I find it fun. I'm one of the things I definitely want to explore more coming year is like just chatting stuff. Cause I love me some gaming streams. Don't get me right, people ask. Yes. <laughs> but I've been watching a lot more than just chatting content recently and I think it's really fun and interactive. And it's a great way for you guys to be become part more of like the channel. Because okay, hear me out. Because there's so many streamers where I watch and Autism Creature, yes, we love the Autism Creature. There's so many channels that I watch where certain chatters, in my eyes, are like almost part of the fabric of the channel because they are such characters in that universe. And like through audience interaction, those people sort of get spotlighted and everything. And I love that. Like it makes communities feel very alive and it's not just me sitting for, in front of a screen and you guys watch, but like you guys get to participate in in many ways, and I want to increase that. Plus, it's just funny, like you know, you guys may like you know submitting stuff or things like that. 
I've been really inspired recently in that front. Yeah, I love stream streamers like that. Exactly, I also like that. Like, when I started watching Twitch for the first probably year or something, the only, like, just could be me, but I don't have Discord. Wouldn't have to be Discord, necessarily. But could be, uh, like, could be Twitter, could be, like, other ways, I don't know. But yeah, for, like, the first year or something, the only just chatting content I really watched was from streamers I already liked because of their gaming content. So, like, IRL streams or something like that. But I wasn't really much of someone who specifically enjoyed just chatting streams but in the last like maybe like few months or so there's been a few people that i've watched that basically never do gaming and almost always do just chatting and i find it i found it like really fun and interesting and how they incorporate the, their communities into their content and i'm like oh that sounds really cool and fun and i want to do that more but yeah one of the ways that there's like a factor of interactivity and randomness is using the giveaway function to pick out a, a chatter from you boys. So I want to bring that in more. That's one of the things. Um, and yeah, as you can see, like some of the stuff that we have on the sub goals is also reflecting of me wanting to do more, like branch out a bit more in terms of making creative stuff, maybe some more IRL content. I'm not a particularly experienced uh, person in front of the camera. But, like, I try my best and, you know, I've, I've talked a little bit about this. I don't know why we're doing this. is like as if this is like my New Year's stream. It's not. Um, I've talked a little bit about how there's some things that, I don't know, next year I may or may not be more open about or not. I don't really know. It's sort of, it's like a weird thing with, with the, the internet I found. I don't know if you boys feel like similar about it, but... In our current times where it's very much like you represent yourself on the internet as a creator, you know, as a person even. And I'm sure all of you know exactly sort of the feeling of, okay, what do you share on the internet and who do you share it to? And, you, and me, you know, as a creator, it's like, okay, what is my responsibility as a creator? Or like, what do I feel comfortable with and everything? And I am... I've been, it's very much anxiety inducing. In some ways, um, in some ways it is, but the thing that I find interesting is like, to me, I don't really, I don't know if you guys do this, but to me, a lot of the times to figure out what I am supposed to do in a situation, I look to guidance, uh, for guidance to others. I look for uh, like an example to follow or, uh, or controversially uh, an example to not follow but i'm looking for an example either way i'm looking of how to engage with certain subjects and having other people to look towards is very vital for me to to make decisions and like to engage but i haven't really found too many examples for the specific subjects that i am thinking a lot about as a creator because to me it seems like the, the gap between is like between people who are very cautious and like their personal affairs are pretty protected to the big content creators who've been doxxed 800 times and it's like you know so for me as a person who who's sort of like you know okay what what do you do really like you know when you thankfully have not been doxxed like thank you uh to the internet but like like how do you engage with that where's where's the line you know what i mean chat it's it's kind of difficult especially like i've always been a frequent streamer um so thusly i'm of course like very and i don't think i'm very i don't really put up much of like an act i'm not like like i'm not like a tommy in type streamer where i just like put on a show for an hour and i'm like yo uh, it's also harder because you're a content creator not just a random user exactly because there is that element as well but like i'm not putting on like a crazy show for an hour and then i just fuck off and live my own life but like a lot of who, like stream is is me i'm here i'm i'm engaging with the boys but like at the same time there is a pretty big barrier between me as a person versus me as like yellow or the streamer you know and it's kind of strange to think about because I mean I think it's pretty evident that I'm not super young and that means I've lived like a fair amount of my life on the internet without being a content creator just as a random person 
and seeing sort of this side of it all is very like odd and I'm, I'm a small guy still like it's not like there's a billion people currently here and can't imagine how how some of the big people must feel but like at the same time you know they probably have different concerns as i mentioned so how i feel about things is kind of like a part of it is definitely that i i don't know if you guys feel say the similar is similar about this but I was very much raised with the whole, like, you have to be super careful about what you say on the internet, and the internet is forever, and oh my gosh, like, like a lot of fear-mongering when I was really young. Uh, like, I was one of those kids who was raised as, like, never even tell anyone your real name on the internet, and things like that. So I had, like, an alias as a young child. It's kind of funny, because I now have an alias again, so we're not even going to talk about it. But, like, yo, but, like, I was raised in that kind of context. But I know some, like, younger people that I've met that, like, the lack of internet security, like, Jesus Christ, people have shown me their fucking houses on Google Maps, like, fucking willy-nilly, like, Jesus. Like, malicious actors are out there, boys, like, don't do this shit. Don't, like, in random Discord servers, like, be like, eh, this is my house on Google Maps, don't do it. I've recently saw, like, some Discords where people were apparently, like, fucking tweeting out their phone numbers, I'm like, bro, how, like, like how unsafe can you be, like, <laughs> You know, flashback to me being a young kid being told, like, even telling someone, like, you're acting, you're, like, a nickname of your first name was too much information. Uh, I had that growing up, but as one of the kids who was raised on the internet, so I'm pretty desensitized to everything. But I'm, like, not giving up my address on that, I still use an alias. Yeah, I'm th I mean, I've been on the internet for, like, for, for fucking ever, but, like... So I'm definitely very aware about a lot of stuff, but... To me, it's crazy, because there's definitely, like, this discrepancy between people that I know, a lot of people my age-ish who was sort of raised with this crazy um, overprotectiveness over, you know, their, themselves on the internet to the point where it's not always condo conducive. Because realistically, unless you already caught someone else's attention, positive or negative, chances are no one is going to, like, archive all of your personal information. Like, no one's going to archive all of your tweets or, like, all of your, I don't know, fucking Snapchats. I don't fucking know. Like, realistically, that's not, like, a concern. Unless you've already caught the attention of anyone, like, positive or negative. So positive if you are, like, a content creator and you get a following. Negative if you've got, like, you know, malicious actors trying to, like, find out information about you. So, it's sort of like... Uh, they didn't join my Discord server. Time to dox them, someone probably. Yeah, things like that. It's, like, crazy to me. Because it's so foreign to... <laughs> my experience on the internet, really. Um, and in that sense, it's like a very weird experience. I mean, again, what, what I mean is the feeling of like being someone who's here a lot. Like for me, streaming is like part of my almost daily routine. Like unless I'm feeling like I'm busy otherwise, or I'm not feeling very well, I tend to stream like fell asleep again. <laughs> Hi, but, but we're just having deep talk kind of not really but yeah like as someone who does stream that frequently like streaming is a big part of my life you know like i do talk to it about to like some of my irl friends who know or like my family or like other people in my life like it's a big part but at the same time it is in a way kind of quarantined off from the rest of my life like even to the point that you know you see a little drawing rather than like a face cam even if I sort of have a version of what I show on stream, but, like, it's not a particularly comfortable one to me, not gonna lie. Where there's sort of the two wolves in my brain and, like, on my, my, my you know, you know what I mean, the two wolves mean. And one of them is kind of, oh, yeah, this and this could be easier and more comfortable. Yeah, COVID lockdown had a big part of how people interacted online as well, for real. Yeah, there's so many people who will just be, like, the most boundary-breaking motherfuckers. And I don't mean boundaries in that sense, like, in a weird-ass, overimposing way. But I mean, like, people will just act super familiar with you, even though you don't know each other. And you're like, bro! Like, please be normal. Normal challenge. And I, I ugh, man, we're not even going to talk about the, the weight of the word normal. But you know what I mean? Like, don't be weird and act awkwardly close to people if you don't know them 
I wish I'd even had a hint of the confidence or audacity these people have. For real. Don't be goofy. Yeah, exactly. Don't be, like, whack and, like, impose yourself on people. Like that. Like, I could fucking never, man. I have way too much... Like, I'm over-empathetic at that point where I feel, like, second-hand awkwardness on behalf of other people when I see that. And I'm like, oh, God. I could fucking never, man. <laughs> or I try to not, at least. But... So there's, like, the wolf that's like, oh... Like, this and this would be a lot easier, and this and this would be, like, this and this is a barrier, right? And on the other hand, it's like, but, like, you know, once I make a certain decision, it isn't like I could just easily, like, roll back. Do you know what I mean, chat? That makes sense. So, and also, like, hmm, is it even particularly good to break down, like, the barrier between me as a person and me on stream? Furthermore... Like, is it, is it not good? Like, that's what I mean with not having, um, like, not having really found anyone whose approach to this I want to emulate. Uh, I talked to one guy on it for seven, like, seven years. It took me three for me to even tell him my real name, Lamau. That's good safety, King. But, so they, what, this is literally what I mean. It's like, everyone I know is like, either... Either they share a lot more than I would ever be comfortable with, or they were forced to share a lot more than I would be comfortable with, or like it they they themselves as a person aren't much of their content. So it's like like what what what's man's got to do, you know? Like some information I'm unless basically the circumstances don't allow it any other way should obviously always be private but like other parts i'm like hmm, you know so that's what i mean like i've been trying like a lot of my my journey as a content creator has been sort of in striking this balance and figuring out what am i comfortable with and how to communicate that in my online presence but while well, for some points i found my answers and i've adjusted accordingly to others i have just not and I've been talking a lot to friends recently about this, where I was like, okay, okay, this and this has been on my mind. And then it's like, for some things that aren't really, like, there isn't a blueprint to follow, if you know what I mean. Like, which is really hard for someone like me, who heavily relies on these kind of blueprint ideas to figure out how to engage in certain scenarios. I don't know if that makes sense, but... Like, I could, I figured out a lot, but definitely not at the end, so going all about this is like okay there's gonna be some things coming here that are gonna impact my life in big ways where i'm unsure on how to approach this on stream or like with you boys and i'm like hmm, it's kind of important but like it's also kind of personal so i'm like hmm, you know i don't know I've not really like i've literally talked to other like content creators about stuff like this and even they don't really have like the answer on this just challenging right because in a lot of situations you kind of get told like the options of what to do and you're like oh okay say you want a job and you're okay okay you got to do an application okay these are the do's and don'ts of applications you follow those and then you try your best and see if you could get the job but like what are the do's and don'ts about like certain twitch like content creator things like no one fucking tells you this oh sorry to chat if there's ads you can subscribe twi with Twitch Prime if you don't want ads, but like, apparently there's ads. I didn't even want ads, bro. What the hell? It's not even showing me the ads anymore. It used to have like more information on this. Surely I can change this. Let me edit this. There used to be like a thing of like, is this ads manager? Oh yeah, it was ads manager. I don't know why ads manager just isn't here. Hold on, chat. I, the fuck did I just do? Didn't mean to do that. Tried to, like, change my overlay on the fly. You know how it'd be like, boys. Okay, I fixed it. There you go. Now I can see it. It's annoying how it's your last stream until you have a Christmas break. Whatever you have a Christmas break. Oh, no, that's old text. Sorry, chat. Scrolled up. Um, what is it? Yeah, Twitch forces them sometimes if you don't do them yourself. Yeah, guess so. <laughs> Tell me if you want your back chat. 
say, let's see, back, boys. There you go. I'll type it in so chat should see. I don't know why we're in this huge segment, but I've been thinking about this. Hello, you back? I'm always here, people sit. So true, James, so true. So, it's, it's, a, it's a hard thing, in my opinion. And, I don't know. I mean, there's like not really a right answer I found. So, I think I'll try and take it as it goes, but, I don't know, chat. I don't know, really. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's kind of funny to me because, like, this time like, last year, I had, when I went on my Christmas break, which was four days, I had just started streaming two months ago. Like, I had a really, really, really small community. I just hit affiliate, basically, in December of 2021. And that meant I had, like, 50 followers or something-ish. And it was a really, really small community, mostly literally by our L friends. And since then, in that year, so much has changed, not just for the community, but on my view of how I, I treat streaming and I take it pretty seriously. Uh, I hope that comes through in the, in the stuff where, like, I care that I give you guys, like, regular stuff and that we engage a lot and that I try and give you cool content and projects and all this stuff and reach out more and innovate more and teach myself new skills to improve the chat and the stream. Like this whole giveaway situation that I'm just teaching all of us at the same time. Cause I personally didn't even know it existed until like three weeks ago. But that what I'm trying to say here is I don't really, I see this as a very long-term thing I said this earlier in the stream as well, where I was like talking about, um, were you talking about crazy gifted sub amounts because of Accent's status being restored? That I care about building like a long-term thing here for me and for you guys. Like I'm not here for the crazy, let's like do like a fucking spike of growth or like do like everything. Like, no, I'm here for like the long haul. I, unless any circumstance outside of my control impedes, I don't really see myself stopping to stream anytime soon. Maybe in like the future if I were to get like a full-time job in like some years and I don't have as much time, then maybe I stream less, but I will still stream as much as I possibly can, probably for foreseeable future, I don't really know. I'm not really a forever kind of person, as in, like, I don't like that word choice. But generally, I'm very committed to this, and I really love it. Uh, that means that I take this stuff seriously, and I want to treat you boys with respect, the, the respect that you deserve, including how I approach what I tell you boys and what I don't tell you, and what kind of lines are drawn or not. And let's just say on some things, I just don't know the answers yet. I may know them next year. In some cases, I will have to know them next year, not gonna lie, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be a thing, boys. And I know that, like, in my heart of hearts, as they say, I know that any time I've chosen to be more open about a certain part of my life, you guys have embraced it, you've not like, you're good fellas, you know? So I know that reasonably that is to be expected to the future, but like, you know, still means uh, it'll be decisions to be made. Hey, we're here for the journey, people, Pat. You're such kings for that. You're such kings. And yeah. Um, if you are missing me for the, for, the, for the next few days where I'm not streaming, I do have a YouTube channel and a VODs channel. The uploads are a bit slow because, again, I'm horrifically busy all the time. Uh, but there's content there if you are if you are excited, if you want to just vibe. The main YouTube channel has cool edited content. The VODs channel just has, like, all of, a lot of the VODs I've done. It's, like, hundreds of streams at this point, and they're, like, sorted in playlists. So if you guys are looking for, like, a specific SMP or if you want to watch 
me play games for the first time, or if you want to watch me play spooky games, there's a spooky playlist. Things like that, if you want to watch lore, it's all there. Um, got to go by my streamer. I also got to go. Um, so yeah, I will be in the Discord chat. I'm not gonna be, if you're, if you're not in the Discord already, join the Discord, follow me on, on Twitter. I might tweet a little bit while I'm gone, but I'm not gonna drop off the internet. Don't worry, I'll be there. Just not streaming until the 26th. Yellow will be in our hearts. Thank you, Kings. I uh, hope you have a good time. Uh, however, you're spending the festive days, family, friends, your loved ones, your pets, or just by yourself having a good time. As if you are taking a big break. I know, I'm just taking a three day break. I know. Like, all of these streamers be like, oh, I'll be back in January. Meanwhile, I'm like, hey, yeah, I'll be back in three days. It's chill. You know, I'll be back on Sunday. <laughs> but. <laughs> For me, it's a big break because I never really take more than two days off. People giggles. I know. I know. I'm a crazy, like, committed guy. I'm just sometimes I'm like, man, I just love this thing, you know. So, yeah. Hope you have a good time for the next few days. Again, the uh, the communication lines are open through Discord and also through Twitter. If you want to watch stuff, I've sent the links. It would mean a lot to me if you could help hype up the subathon during the next few days. I'll be posting like informational slash promotional art on, on Twitter and on Discord. It would really mean a lot if you could uh, go on the Twitter and like retweet stuff or share it with your friends. To me, this is my like final big project for the year and I've been preparing for a subathon for the last two months. Basically the second I ended my last one, I was like, I want to do this again. Uh, hold on, I'll pull out the tweet, boys. It would mean a lot to me if you could tell your friends, uh, family members, if you've got cool siblings, people in your life that you engage with about the subathon, if you could like retweet, if you have a Twitter account, or like respond, hype it up, let people know that it's that is upcoming. Uh, you guys carry so hard, and word of mouth is a big thing. So I'd highly highly be thankful for that if you could that you don't have to boys but it would help me and the community a lot again unless you guys pull some crazy moves until the 25th no big chatter christmas but we will be doing a little chatter christmas with the giveaway feature situation on the 26th so gonna be playing like minecraft up there like whatevs then um so yeah I'll send you over to I'll send you over to Katie Bucks who's doing I think gingerbread building gingerbread house looking fun we like Katie here she's pretty cool so I'll send you over there and I uh, hope you have a good few next uh, days much love chat means a lot to me to see you come out for all of this content it's been great take care of yourselves bye bye streamer bye I I'm waving to you but you can't